Welcome, everybody, to another rendition of Delete Laws. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it so much. I don't know if you got a notification bell or not. YouTube has is playing the filter game with us, making sure people don't get to see the videos, making sure they don't get the education. It is what it is. So if you'll do me a favor, please hit the like button. Hit the like button. Just take you one second to hit that like button, if you would, please. Now, I want to open, I, I was going to open this video with the no fun police. And in between the time I saw the no fun police, I saw Brian from Here's the Deal. Brian from Here's the Deal, this guy over here. I actually could find the original video. But I, I thought Brian did such a good job presenting this and showing this that I wanted to share his perspective and the video at the same time. So if you guys would, please get over to Brian's channel, subscribe. I already hit the like button. And, and now I'm going to say thank you. We are going to cover this. There it is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're going to cover Brian's video. And... It is such a trip. Do me a favor. Can you put in the comment section for me? O-T-V-O, Overturn Terry versus Ohio. Put it in the comment section for me. If you would, pretty please, with sugar and cherry on top. You see that? YouTube. YouTube is YouTube China. I I'm going to explain something later that I'm going to, we'll, we'll get into it. But bef before I sit and blab all morning here afternoon, I guess we are now. I'll, I'll get into this video and then we'll get into the no fun police. So this is Brian from Here's the Deal giving us a presentation here. And what he said this morning when I saw this video, I couldn't agree with more. Ma'am, step out of the vehicle. So she's being pulled over and put a one in the chat if you're afraid of police or if you know someone who's afraid of police. Put a one in the chat if you are afraid of the cops or you know people who are afraid of the cops. That should be every one of us putting a one. Let me put a one for me over here because most people I know are terrified of the piggies. And so she's scared of the cops. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to call someone Good. to make sure that Step I'm safe. Step out of the vehicle. You are safe. Stop. I, I don't feel safe. I do not feel safe. Don't trap my arm. Don't trap my arm. Hey, ma'am, lower the yeah, What is she? What is he doing right now? He's been taught that she's really secretly trying to get a hand cannon out of her pants to shoot him. That's what he's been painted. That's the teaching they teach these pigs. No, you're going to hurt this. Lower officer. your window. Ma'am, lower, lower your window. Your other arm. Ma'am. Have you ever stopped to consider just how powerful and effective pro police propaganda is? You know, shows like Live PD and Cops and other pro police shows that glorify the violation of our fellow Americans. It's so powerful that on the heels of Slushy Gate, where cops targeted innocent people walking along the sidewalk, minding their own business, by throwing large cups of soft drinks at them in their police vehicles while in uniform. Hey, babe, you got change for a dollar? How about a drink? We covered this video, you remember? I made a couple shorts out of this. The cell phone videos were taken by LMPD officers from the now disbanded 9th Mobile Unit. They capture multiple instances of officers throwing drinks at pedestrians and cyclists and then laughing about it. <laughs> Some videos were taken by an officer in a car driving behind another LMPD vehicle from which... This calls for it. Put it in the comment section. JBTP. Jack Boot Thug Pig. Jack Boot Thug Pig. Those are pigs right there, boys and girls. The drinks were thrown. <laughs> and on the heels of case after case of millions of dollars in county and city payouts because of police brutality, and even on the heels of murder after murder committed by the boys in blue, people still give these psychopathic, badge-wearing creeps, the benefit of the doubt when they bring team tyranny into the life of another person. I mean, just, does that look like a nice person to you? Do those look like nice guys to you? I mean, I mean, look at Janetti over here. What a beta. Look at his face. You can just, he's just a beta male order follower. And somebody loves this guy. It's pathetic. Look, look at the 
gang in front of you. Why are there so many bootlickers in our country? These guys are pigs. Person. Cops are supposed look at this to guy on the right. They, they just want to attack us. Look at the look in his eyes. He wants to fight us. Be there to keep harm from happening to people, not causing harm. This video from the Police Plug channel is more proof that individuals who have neither stolen from nor harmed another person are targets of power tripping badge wearing psychopaths. So it wasn't hard to find the video that Brian is presenting here, but the reason why I'm showing Brian's video instead of the original video is because of his commentary. He's saying exactly what I think in my head. It's like an extension of my own brain. The name of the video is woman traps cops arm in car window during traffic stop. Under the video we read on April 26, 2022, an officer was conducting surveillance on a vehicle. The automatic license plate reader read back that the driver's registration was suspended conducting surveillance on a vehicle owned by but, but let's not forget her name is Jeannie Rose Jeannie Rose Kessing Sanders Saunders I guess that would be Jeannie Rose Kessing Sanders whatever Saunders she's a person Jeannie Rose is a human being she's a person you see her right there that's Jeannie Rose and she just she's getting pulled over for whatever but she doesn't want to deal with a pig. She doesn't, she's scared. She already said she's scared. She said she's scared. By an American? Doesn't that sound like something that might happen in North Korea or something the SS or Gestapo would do? Oh, See, yeah. The cops are terrorists. In this country, the police are terrorists. The police are not your friend. Stop the illusion. Don't teach your kids to call 911. Don't teach your kids that cops are friends. Seems to me that it's a violation of your right to be secure in your person. It's an automatic violation of your privacy. Let's just sit back and watch this attack unfold on this woman by the Scotch Plains, New Jersey Police Department. Open a window. So she's on the phone with her lawyer. And let me just address this before we watch this cop attack her. He's going to, he's going to attack her. The cops are going to attack this woman. Before we do that real quick, I just want to address Matthew's comment right down here. Matthew said, Matthew's a bootlicker. He said, move to China. You're more likely to go to jail right here in the United States of America than you are in China. You're more likely to live in a prison in a dungeon right here in America than you are in China. This is what I'm talking about. This is the reason why instead of covering no fun police, I'm first covering Brian's video that shows that this woman, oh, and this for legal shield for the, the legal shield app. You guys remember the app that those guys are trying to get going where you call your lawyer on the phone. She's trying to call her lawyer on the phone. Here's how it goes for her. Here's how it goes. Here, here's how it goes when she tries to call a lawyer on the phone. She just wants a couple minutes to make a phone call to call her lawyer. She's just trying to set, a, set it up so that she has someone there as a witness and representation. How are you, man? Officer Baltar, Scott Spence, please. Hi. Your license registration insurance? Yeah, yeah, thank you. I, I, you, have I your license, I, yeah. you have your license registration insurance? Yeah, not a problem. Thank you. I need your license. What has she done wrong? Okay, what, what, show me the show me the interaction here that would make him escalate this, where he has to open her car door and get her out of the car. Show me where the fear is, and this is going to be Pennsylvania versus Mims. Why they can order you out of the car is in the name of officer safety. Show me what the safety issue is. Why does she have to get out of the car for his safety right here? He's not he's not afraid of her or afraid of what she's doing. All right, man. Officer Balls, our Scott's place, please. Your license registration. Okay. Okay. So, what is she? What is he afraid of? He he. She acknowledges him. One second, I'm on the phone. She's calling her lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I, I'm. You have I'm your license. Yeah. You have your license registration insurance. Yeah. Not a problem. Thank you. 
I need your license. Okay, so that's it. Not a problem. Thank you. You can wait. She didn't ask to be pulled over. She didn't ask for her day to be interrupted. She didn't ask to be in this situation. She is a public servant. He can wait for her to finish what she's doing before she will address him. He's requesting. We are the willingly governed. She just said five seconds ago. Let's count. Let's count. Your license, registration, insurance. Yep, not a problem. Thank you. I need your license. Thousand one. Thousand two. Thousand three. Three to five seconds. Three to five seconds. He gave her three to five seconds. She's trying to organize herself because she has a pig at her window. Open the window or I'm going to break the window and you'll be placed under arrest. Why? Why? Why, did, why does he get to break the window within five seconds of interacting with her? Where's the injured party in the street that she just ran over? Where is the bleeding child in the car seat next to her? See, cops don't like it when you don't talk to them, when you don't consent or respect their authority, when they don't get what they want. Of course, they resort to threats of violence and property damage. That's their M.O. That's what they do. That's what's residing inside the darkness of their hearts. It's Nazi Germany. We, we literally, in the name of safety and these bullshit TV shows that glorify these pigs, We've created a Nazi Germany in this country. It's incredible what we're seeing. If you don't comply to them now, you have three seconds. That's all the patience they're going to give you. Ma'am. 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 Is she reaching in the sides of her seats for, for something? Is she digging through her console? Is she reaching across into her glove box? No. She's patiently sitting there on the phone getting a hold of her representation. You folks at Legal Shield uh, over there, uh, lackluster, you might want to take a look at this. This is what happens when you try to call your lawyer on the phone. Ma'am, your license, registration, and insurance. I'm telling you guys right now, I don't care if you listen to me or you don't. You get your license registration and proof of insurance ready to go. You get your trifle that says, I invoke your Fifth Amendment right. The cop comes up, says, give me your license, registration, proof of insurance. You crack the window that much and you go, there you go, pig. It's over. No more back and forth. You got the camera going? He says, license, registration, proof of insurance. There it is. Holy goodness. He can get all pissy that it's a photocopy in a minute. But for now... I've given that pig everything I got to give him. Now for you folks who have the legal shield that lackluster selling, you can now have the time to call your lawyer. You got the pig to calm down. You gave him your license, registration, and proof of insurance that you took the time to put together. You took the time to do it. You went to FedEx Kinko's on your day off to Office Max to wherever the laminating place is in your town, and you did it. When that pig pulled you over and he said those exact words, did you hear the words he said? Listen carefully here. Listen to what he says. Ma'am. Listen. Ma'am. What did he say? Your license, registration, and insurance. There it is. There it is. He wants your license, registration, and proof of insurance. And in these United States of America, like it or not, and I hate it, the 1915 case of Hendrick versus Maryland allows each individual state of the union in this republic to create laws, including a Department of Motorized Vehicles, or BMV, that requires you get a license, registration, and proof of insurance. I don't like it. It's unconstitutional. So is Terry versus Ohio. You set yourself up. You get yourself ready to go. When that pig says license, registration, and proof of insurance, real simple, real simple. It's in your visor with your trifold rubber banded in. I got my assistant here right now. We didn't ship trifolds for two days because I didn't have rubber bands in and I refused to ship them without the rubber band in the envelope. I know you got the rubber band. It's up here. He says license, registration, and proof of insurance. You slide this out. 
It's a photocopy and you just slip it through the window and you put the window back up. And now you can use your legal shield and get your lawyer on the phone. But for the love of God, set yourself up. Look what happens to her because she doesn't comply within three seconds. She had three seconds to comply. She didn't comply. And look what happens to her. Ma'am. Ma'am. Your license, registration, and insurance. If you don't comply, I will break the window and you will be placed under arrest. You understand that? He's been there for 60 seconds. He's been at her window for 60 seconds at the most. And she's not she's not reaching around. She's not reaching in the in the sides of the the door. He has no reason to be afraid of anything. The reason you can order someone out of their car is for officer safety. He can give her a minute to organize, to call her attorney if she wants to. Man, I hope those guys are paying attention. Here's what happens when you try to call your attorney if you ask for a second. Ma'am. Open the window. She didn't open the window. Ma'am, step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle for officers. I'm trying, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to call someone Good. to make sure that step I'm safe. Out of the so vehicle. you heard her. I'm trying to call someone, and and you can't help take but take a look. Every Sorry, Everybody's a person. Look at her. She's a 110-pound, wafy female. There's absolutely no fear I have of a woman that size. Sorry. I'm trying to, I'm trying to call someone Good. to make sure that Step I'm safe. Out. So she put her hand. Now she, you know, he can see both of her hands. He can see the phone in her hand, and he can see the phone. Her hand is at the window. So he has no reason to fear for his safety. The vehicle. You are safe. Stop. I, I she doesn't want... She doesn't feel safe. She just said it. What about that Me Too movement? Believe women, remember? Well, when it comes to an investigation, there should be an investigation. But I do believe her when she says that she's scared. I'm trying to call someone Good. to make sure that Step I'm safe. Step out of the vehicle. You are safe. Stop. I, I don't feel safe. I do not feel safe. Don't trap my arm. Don't trap my arm. Whoa, what are you doing? Hey, ma'am, oh lower God. the window. You're going to hurt this lower officer. Your You're going to hurt this pig. Lower your window. You're going to hurt the Nazi at your window. My arm. Whoa, what are you doing? Hey, ma'am, lower the window. You're going to hurt the Lower officer. your window. Ma'am, lower, lower window. your window with your other arm. Ma'am. So let's be honest about the situation and keep everything in context. A strange man reaches his arm into a woman's car without consent. She closes the window on his arm because obviously she's fearing for her life. But she's the one who gets charged with assault and the lemming masses applaud this tyranny? This is clown world on steroids. Lower, Lower your window, window with your other arm. Lower your window with your other arm. No. Ma'am, lower your Look, she's her mouth's open wide. She's confused. She's disoriented. She's afraid. But there's no reason for the cops outside of the window to have any legitimate fear of her to escalate this right or wrong. Put a one in the chat. If that's true, there's no reason to be afraid of her right now, which is the only reason they can force her out of the car legally to begin with. She has a Pennsylvania versus Mims Supreme court case here that she could fight. There's no reason to order her out of the car. If you're not afraid. Your window. You are now under arrest. You are now under she arrest. shows the phone that she's calling her lawyer. Ma'am, lower the window. You are now under. Stop. Ma'am, lower the window. Ma'am, lower the window. Now that they're grabbing her now too, he breaks the car door. Watch, he breaks the doorknob of the of the car. Watch. Ma'am, lower the window. Ma'am, lower the window. He he broke the door. Ma'am, lower the window. He broke the door trying to rip the door open. He broke the whole knob. And an additional unit. Let's see. In a world where morality was glorified and immorality was condemned, what would this action be called? Oh, yeah, this would be called carjacking and kidnapping. But for some bizarre reason, the aggressors and agitators are seen as the heroes in this story. That's the part that blows me away. You know, and I think someone pointed it out 
in in the in the chat here, but right here, okay, her her his arm is no longer stuck. She rolls down the window so he can get his arm out. He says he wants his arm out. Lower your window with your other arm. Oh so, no. so now look, now Man, he now lower. now he grabs her. Now he's grabbing her. Now he's he put his arm in the window. The reason she rolled it up is because he, he she doesn't want to be grabbed by this pig. And then he grabs her. Lower your window. window. You are now under arrest. So she shows the phone. I'm calling my lawyer. Why are you doing this? Man, you are now under Why are you grabbing my arm? He tries to take her phone. Did you see that part? Ma'am, lower the window. You are now under. Stop. Okay, so she lowers the window and he gets his arm out. But I want to show this right here. He tried to grab her phone out of her hand. Arrest. Look. <laughs> Look. I hope you guys at Legal Shield are watching this. You can't call anybody. He's grabbing the phone out of her hand. He's got his meat hooks on it. You can see it. You're now under arrest. And she has to tear her phone away from the guy. And now once she does this next move, his arms are clear. Lower the window. You are now under Stop. Okay, so she lowers the window. His arms are out now. Now his arm is free. His arm is no longer stuck in the, lower the Look. window. Look. Look. Wait, 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 wait. wait. It's lower still the in there. Window. Uh, Ma'am, lower the window. His arms are still in there. They're, okay, both arms are out right there. At six minutes and two seconds, both arms are Ma out. Ma'am, lower the window. Okay, so she had to lower the window for him to get his elbow out. His window's lowered, and now what happens from here? An additional unit. Wait, so now he's jerking on her window. He said he wanted his arm out. She's shown no aggression. She's shown no, no reason these pigs should fear for their lives. <laughs> Jiminy Crickets. Let's see. In a world where Jiminy, morality Jim, was good, Jiminy at Crickets. The police. I just the police. I didn't realize he could put my. Can we open this door? Why are you guys Man, doing this right Man, now? You're under arrest. Man, what did I do? Can you tell me what I did? You're arrested you guys? for aggravated assault against a police officer. Can you tell me <laughs> what I did? You're, I you're am under under arrest. Here. You're under arrest. We're at seven minutes and one second. She said, I didn't realize that you could reach your car in my window. The 1972 case of Adams versus Williams. An extension of guess which case? The 1968 case called Terry versus Ohio. In Adams versus Williams... During the early morning hours of October 30th, 1966, an individual approached a cop in a gas station parking lot in Connecticut and informed him that another individual in a nearby vehicle was carrying narcotics and had a firearm in his waist. The pig approached the vehicle on foot and asked the occupant, Robert Williams, to open the door. When Williams rolled the window down instead, the officer reached into the car and removed a gun from Williams' waistband. Though the gun was not visible from outside the vehicle, the officer then arrested Williams for unlawful possession of a firearm and proceeded to search his vehicle where he found chemicals. William was convicted in a Connecticut state court of possession of a firearm and chemicals. After the Supreme Court of Connecticut affirmed the conviction, Williams filed a claim against the prison warden, Frederick Adams, in which he alleged the state of Connecticut continued to detain him unlawfully as a prisoner. Williams argued that the handgun and chemicals were discovered through an unlawful search and should not have been admitted in the evidence at his trial. The district court denied his petition. On appeal, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit sided with Williams and ordered that his conviction be set aside. And then it was then pushed up to the Supreme Court. Someone applied for certiorari. And so then you get to the que the constitutional question. Does the Fourth Amendment allow a police officer acting only on a tip from an informant to approach a person and remove a concealed weapon inside the person's waistband? Now, this is also going to have to do. Can a cop reach inside your vehicle? Same thing. The conservatives, once again, by ideology, the people who are on the right. This is why voting for president matters. The people on the right are the ones who, who kill us with law or cops. Does the fourth amendment allow a police officer to reach into your car? Yes. 
Justice William Rehnquist wrote for the opinion 6-3 majority. The court held the informant's tips permitted the officer to approach Williams' car and make a limited search of Williams' waistband for the officer's own protection, which is the number one pillar of Terry versus Ohio officer safety. There it is. There it is. Can the cops reach into your car? Anybody? And how come the cops can reach into your car? The unelected Supreme Court conservatives who are appointed by Republican presidents is the reason why we live in a police state today. People will say to you stupid things like we're living in Joe Biden's America. We're living in Donald Trump's America. No, we're not. We're not. We're living in Richard Nixon's America. We're living in Lyndon Johnson's America. That's the America that we're living in today was created by Lyndon Johnson and Richard Nixon. Remember, there was the great switch. So Republicans used to be Democrats and Democrats used to be Republicans. When was that? Up until what year? 1963. What happened in 1963 that made Democrats join the Republican Party and made Republicans join the Democrat Party? What was that? It was the assassination of John F. Kennedy. And what did John F. Kennedy do? He would write the 1964 Civil Rights Act in 1963. He would be assassinated in broad daylight in Dallas before he could push that legislation through Congress and sign it. Lyndon Johnson, after he was assassinated, took the helm of the presidency and he pushed through the legislation of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which was the actual segregation bill that desegregated our country. It, we were still very segregated, black and white. Brown versus Board of Education happened in 1954, which legally desegregated America, but the police in our country kept segregation alive until the 1964 Civil Rights Act. At that point, the, the, the people who were in the Republican Party then switched parties to the Democratic Party. People who were in the Democratic Party then switched parties to the Republican Party because they couldn't be associated with that civil rights bill. United States versus Williams. Cops can reach right into your car anytime they want. Justin William O. Douglas wrote a dissent in which he argued that the officer did not have probable cause to arrest Williams for illegal possession of a firearm because Connecticut's free and easy gun laws allowed individuals could carry concealed weapons so as long as they have a permit. So, in other words, that cop reached into Williams' car and guess what? G guess why? Guess why? Guess why? How come? Robert Williams, take a guess, take a guess. How come? Why Why do you think the court allowed this to happen, even though it should have been thrown out immediately? How come it is? What do you think Robert Williams was? Take a guess real quick. What was Robert Williams? Take a guess. Anybody? I'm looking. There it was. Narsty boy got it. He was black. That's it. That's it. He was black. That's the whole thing. If you're, if you're black in this country and you go to the Supreme Court, they hold against you. And when they hold against you, they hold against all of us. Can we open this door? What? But for some bizarre reason. What? Why? 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 Can we open this door? Why are you guys doing this right now? You're under arrest. You're under what arrest. I do? Can you tell me what I did, you guys? You're arrested for aggravated assault against a police officer. Can you tell me what I did? I am under arrest. You're under arrest. Under arrest for what? Aggravated assault against a police officer. She was trying to call her lawyer and didn't want to be jerked out of the car. She wanted a minute to orientate herself. She doesn't trust cops and didn't want to be subjected to them without her attorney on the phone. Step out of the car. Turn around, turn around your back. Under arrest for what? Aggravated assault. How is there aggravated assault? Could you please tell me? When you, when the officer tells you to open the door, and has to put his arm through the window, and then you call you. Why you, is his and arm then, going through my window? Right. The only reason that the cop can put her his arm in the window is in the name of officer safety to Terry pat her down to check her for weapons, but there was no fear. That there legitimately nobody was afraid. He had his body center mass in front of the window. 
If she had a gun, she could have blew his brains out. He's standing right there. So there was no reason for him to reach his arms in the car because of his impatience. I got a gun real quick, Mr. Yeah. Pat her down real quick. Yeah, search her now. Serious right now? Yeah, you're under arrest. Do you have a mother? Do you have a sister? We're past that already. You're under arrest for aggravated assault. He we're we're past that already. This is another one. This is this is another one that has to come to an end. There's no more. We're past that already. You're escalating the situation. You're being an impatient pig. There's no such thing as we're past that now. No, we're past your patience has been is gone. We're not past anything. You're creating a legal access based on your patience being gone. We're past me being a reasonable officer because my patience is gone. And so because my patience is gone, the legal maxim now changes. Now the legal maxim is I'm going to charge you with crimes because I'm impatient. We're past that now has got to go away. If you say we're past that now, you should be suspended for a month. We're past that now escalates everybody's emotions and escalates the entire situation. We're past that now. So that means what? We're past any sensible, reasonable thing that could happen here? Yeah, we're past that. Why? Because I'm irrational and I'm impatient. And because my patience is gone, we're past that now. And now the legal maxim for what you can be charged with has changed. Why? Because my patience is gone. That's what we're past that now means. These jackboot thug pigs. Put it in the comments. Look at her face. We're past that now. Look at her face after he said, we're past that now. That's her reaction to we're past that now. Do you blame her? Yeah. Pat her down real quick. Yeah, search her now. Serious right now? So yeah, if on. it was for officer safety, which is the reason why they can order you out of the car with Pennsylvania versus Mims, they haven't even searched her. Under arrest. Do you, you have, have a mother? Do you have a sister? We're past that already. You're under arrest for aggravated assault. He told you multiple times to lower your window, open the door, and then when he put that, put his arm through your window and you raised the intentionally raised the window and then hurt this officer. Now you're under arrest for aggravated assault. Plus Stop talking, honey. Bro, stop talking. And why is the person looking out the window? Why aren't they filming what's happening? You always film the police. Put it in the chat. Always film the police. You are accusing me of something I did not do. You're not. You're, you're under arrest. Right. You should narrate what's happening to you like she's doing, but don't enter into any conversation with them. Why are you arresting me for no reason? Why are you twisting my arm that way? Why are you hitting me? Why are you treating me inhumanely? Why won't you give me some water? You're under arrest. Bring him to the back over here. L look. What a waste of resources. This woman was never any fear to anybody. And we're paying three different, maybe six different people to be there. Why? And meanwhile, the rest of the town, the rest of the community doesn't have any protection. Because all the cops are here with all their lights on. Everybody knows where all the cops are. Which one's the car? Mike. 32. 38. You checked they're good? Yeah, she doesn't have any pockets on me. Okay. Does this coat have any pockets? I'm bleeding on my hand, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you poor little pussy piggy. You poor little pussy pig. Poor little pussy, pussy, pussy piggy. Is you, are you bleeding? Are you bleeding a little bit? Scotch police. Does it say scotch? And now, 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 now here comes the feel sorry for me. And the bootlickers are all like, oh my God, she injured the pig. I'm bleeding on my hand too. <laughs> Good. With the broken hey, just watch out with the broken glass too. Oh, just yeah, watch out with the broken glass too. Yeah, those other moron pigs, they're gonna they're gonna face dive on top of the broken glass. They're not wearing jack boots, are they? Aren't they all wearing jack boots? I think they are. Good thing you told him to look out for the glass, you pea brain. You're bleeding because it was your fault you violated her rights and broke her window. Yes. Thank you, Brian. Just the all around. Look at She's looking at him like, what a puss. Look at the look on her face. Look at her look him up and down. Watch. Just the all around. Yeah. 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 
he must feel an inch tall. Are you guys serious? Right Step into the vehicle. Um, watch your head. Yeah. So can I? Oh, oh no! This, this this is where it gets real for everybody. If so, you know, I made a video, a short that is called "This is what happens when you go to jail." Ninety percent of the comments on the video that I that I that I made a short into the editor made it into a short, and where it says, "This is what happens when you go to jail." Ninety percent of the comments on that video are well. It's not. It's supposed to be a punishment. You're not supposed to be on a vacation. You're not supposed to be having a good time there. What did she do to be in a jail? What did she do that she did that we need to lock her in a jail? What did she do? I'm just curious. Could someone put it in the chat for me? Oh, right on, man. You you ordered a trifold and five A cards. Boom. Boom. I'm gonna give you an extra pair. I'm gonna give you an extra set of Fifth Amendment cop cards for free, John. You got an extra pair of Fifth Amendment cop cards that's going to go in your envelope. Anybody else who orders a cop card or a trifold is going to get an extra pair of Fifth Amendment cop cards in their envelope. So the majority of the comments on the on the short that I made, this is what happens when you go to jail. People are saying, oh, you deserve it. That whatever happens to you in jail, you deserve whatever happens to you. No matter what happens to you in jail, it's justified. Now, just so you guys know, and I stopped it right here, because if you've never been to jail before, if you've never been put in torture cuffs and then and then put into that torture mobile, and then after you're handcuffed and shackled like a pig with your arms behind your back, now they're going to set her down on a really hard preformed plastic that doesn't fit your body at all. And then the cuffs are going to tighten down on her wrists until they then say five or 10 minutes later, hey, jump out. Let me double lock those real quick. But right here, at this moment, right here, if you haven't been arrested, and I've been arrested dozens of times for no good reason, just like this, just like this, I've been arrested just like this, for no good reason. Right here, this moment right here, where they're putting you in the back of the car shackled up, and then they're going to strap that seatbelt in you, across you, while you're surrounded by bars and a glass between you and the driver's seat. This moment right here is the most terrifying moment of your life. You might back the blue until this moment right here happens to you. And then when this moment right here happens to you, you'll become a subscriber. Hit that subscribe button right now. Are you subscribed to this channel? Hit the subscribe button right now because if this could happen to you today, this could happen to you right now tonight. Have you hit the subscribe button? Hit the like button. Let's keep let's keep going. Watch that. Look, so she's she's looking at him as though, are you gonna pull some decency out of your ass? She's done it two or three times where she's looked at him like, are you gonna? I'm I'm pausing here for a moment to give you a chance to be decent. So can watch I watch it? Right. Step into the vehicle watch and watch your head. Step into the vehicle and watch your head. Let me get the book on. Can you tell me what I'm arrested for? Aggravated assault. I need to hold on. Hey, 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 hey. Get back, get back, get back in the car. Stay into it in 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 a cage and then be strapped in. This is the worst part of it, y'all. Come on. Turn on. Look, look at this poor woman. Look at her. Look at the look of desperation in her eyes, of fear. Take a look at her face. She's scared. Her jaws dropped open. She's looking outside to see what's happening to her car. She doesn't know what happens next. After this, she'll hate cops. She'll hate them. After this moment, when she sees cops, she'll go through PTSD, which means she could get the shimmers, the shakes. She could sweat. She could get a panic attack the moment she sees a cop car. After this moment, because they're treating her the most inhumanely you could treat somebody. You shouldn't have to go through this for being pulled over. Turn on. Four, four of you guys now, huh? Five, five of you guys. Yeah, it's a total waste of resources. So you're not giving me any chance to retrieve my stuff? Or no, 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 honey. No, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, honey. The 1976 case. Of South Dakota versus Opperman. 
you're not going to be retrieving your stuff. They're going to search your entire vehicle using the, the term inventory from South Dakota versus Opperman that allows the police to inventory everything in your car. They'll go through every single compartment, detail, everything in your car. That's called incident to arrest. Once you've been arrested, then your car and its contents are incident to that arrest. And so now for officer safety, they'll search that car and also to inventory it for private property so that your stuff is going to be secured properly by the cops. <laughs> Didn't you know that? The Supreme Court helps us all the time. The Supreme Court created this inventory thing. Where they incident to arrest, they can inventory your car. It's not a search though; they're just inventorying it. I'm sure, my things are okay. No, they're they're going to inventory it for you. Why? You're not going to tell me why I was pulled over to begin with. Watch your foot. Watch your foot. You explain everything. Just watch your foot. No, you're not. You're not explaining. There it is. At that moment, right there, you're locked in that little tiny space, claustrophobic because you're chained up, shackled up, strapped in. You go through this, these thoughts in your head, like, how in the hell is this happening to me? Why am I here right now? What have I done to deserve this? Can I help you, sir? Yeah. Okay. Take your hands out of your pocket for me. Appreciate it. When the cop tells you to take your hands out of your pockets, do me a favor. When the cop tells you to take your hands out of your pocket, look him dead in the face and say, go fuck yourself. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. You don't have to take your hands out of your pockets. Tell them. Go fudge yourself. Go fly a kite. Go have a ham sandwich. I'm not taking my hands out of my pockets. Let him do what he's going to do. Let him continue to show that he's a pig. And if you sign up to be one of these guys, you are the same as them. You're the same as them. When he tells you to take your hands out of your pockets, tell him to tell him exactly what I just said. Okay. Take your hands out of your pocket for me. Go fuck yourself. Appreciate it. Okay, she's under arrest right now. And then when she when she is released, when she gets out, she can give you a call. Well, he can't walk up to him. Why is he standing 30 feet away? Walk up to him. He's just a pig. Okay. 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 Gibson, please get back to your car now. This is a crime scene. This is a crime scene. <laughs> and another pig is pulling up. Look at the additional pigs. Now this is the fourth or fifth cop car on the scene. How much of our money is being spent right now? And now this is a crime scene. So they can hide what they've done. <laughs> what a joke. What a joke. I will run for governor. I will win. And I will change this system from the top down. Remember, I've only been here for two years. You only met me two years ago. That's how long I've been on YouTube. Two years ago in January. Two years. That's how long I've been here. Just started. Just started. We just started. Well, now it's a crime scene. Everything was fine before the cops showed up. You don't want to you. We're good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to wait. Yeah. There's cops running in code three. They have uh, how many cop cars are on the scene now? There's one, two there. Yeah, we're going to wait. There's four cop cars on the scene. Yeah. And they're running. Hey, but just watch him. He was with her. Watch him. What? The, what? What have we allowed to be created? Why does he need to be watched? If you're the non-driver, you pull your camera out and you say, I invoke my First Amendment right to be press and you start filming and you don't let him make you go stand 50 yards away. And I don't need him coming back to the scene over here. I don't need him coming back to the scene over here? <laughs> the scene you created? He can leave, actually, bud. You don't have to leave. Man, what, what, Scotch Police Department? To the scene over here. He can leave, actually, bud. Bud? We're going to get him, get him back into, get her back into headquarters. Um, just wait for whoever that unit is. I'm just not a somebody who keeps repeating themselves, so you can stop. If you want to keep going, you can, but you're not going to get anything out of me. So She's locked in a cage, shackled up. 
And this is the humanity she gets from another woman, a, a pigtail. Okay, well, I don't have to. I don't have to have a conversation with you. I don't have to treat you humanely at all. You figure there'd be a woman here that would have woman qualities, be a little feminine, explain to her that you're going through a process right now. Just, you know, just go through it. Try to keep your calm, you know, give her some sort of in anything at all. Nothing, nothing. This is the women. They, if you sign up to be a pig, you're a pig. I'm somebody who keeps repeating themselves. So you can stop. If you want to keep going, you can, but you're not going to get anything out of She's me. a pig. So, okay. Well, I don't have to, I don't have to have a conversation with you. Ma'am. Ma'am. I don't need advice. I'm not asking you for your advice, is what I'm saying. Okay? Thank you. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I sure did. Um Stig, Stig, Michael, some so Mary London. I would I would not put your full name out on the internet. But if I could do it again, I would have been a professor behind a yardstick and I just would have kept teaching on TikTok and I only would have taught all the constitutional law that I know. So this woman is the pigtail. She's the epitome of how disgusting police in America are. She's the epitome of what a despotistic state is. She's showing us the pigtail here who showed no humanity, no, no, hum, no humanity at all. No, no sort of sympathy, empathy, nothing, no sort of understanding. We're, we're seeing it. You're hearing it. The, this pigtail right here, everything she does right here, right before she opens the door, she's going to show that if you sign up to be a pig, like this pigtail did, you signed up to be an absolute demon of a person. Why can't she show any kind of empathy? I'm just not indulging somebody who keeps repeating themselves, so you can stop. If you want to she's repeating herself because she's going through PTSD by being kidnapped. Keep going, you can, but you're not gonna get anything out of me. So Okay, well I don't have to I don't have to have a conversation with you. What's she gonna do with those nails like that? I thought policing often required physical interaction with other people. How are those nails gonna go? You know, I mean, I watch a lot of women wrestling, a lot of women wrestling internationally. None of them have nails like that because they have to take on another human being. Those are real pretty nails. We don't need pigtails. It's such a mistake. I don't have to have a conversation with you. Ma'am. And look how much money we're spending. The personnel there, the personnel outside, everybody's standing around. You got five, six, eight, ten people standing around doing nothing for one woman who never was any sort of danger to society at all. Ma'am, I don't need advice. I'm not asking you for your advice, is what I'm saying. Okay? Thank you. Wow, she's just trying to get a human interaction. She said, I'm not asking for advice. She's just trying to get some something from this chick. Look at how nice her nails are. And she's at the jail. I mean, come on. I mean, what what are we doing here? Those are pretty pink nails. Those look great. Ready? All right, sit down. How did that happen? I, I don't know. I don't know. Thank she, you. She, she shackled up like a pig. She couldn't have done it. I'm so sorry. I, I, I hate to interrupt it. It is so preposterous to me to see one human being who has long painted pink fingernails grabbing another person by the arm and physically trying to manhandle their, their physical body. It's such a joke. Step to the right. Not up, step to the right. Thank you. I said step to the right, not step up. Look at her. Look, look, look. look. <laughs> Look at her nail. She's digging her thumb into the girl's tricep with her nail. Look at her nail. <laughs> wow. 
we're equal. Men and women are equal. We're equal, remember? We're all equal. Everybody's equal. We should have just one sporting league. It should, we should mix them all together. We'll just throw everybody in the same sports league. There's no point in having men's MMA and women's MMA. There's no point in having Olympic freestyle wrestling for men and Olympic freestyle wrestling for women. We should only just have one because we're all equal. We're all the same. We're, we're equal. <laughs> and if you believe that lie is true, ask the blind man. He saw it too. Look at her with her painted fingernails, digging them into a woman's arm. You could see her knuckles bent. She's pushing her finger into the chick's. Let me search. I'm going to take the handcuffs off. I'm going to put both hands in the wall. For all the pigtails out there, you can still be feminine. You can still be feminine and be a pig. You can still be an authoritarian jack, boo, thug, pig. Just do your nails. Just, you know. She, sh Chili, you're being such a misogynist. She should be able to feel pretty and do herself up pretty too. Did she sign up to be a Jack Booth thug pig? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Did she sign up to physically manhandle people? Yes, she did. She sure did. So maybe the nails are a bit ridiculous. Maybe. Maybe women who are feminine. Here comes cancel culture. Maybe feminine women shouldn't be physical authoritarians. Maybe. Maybe. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I mean, is that a fair thing to say? She's got nice nails, though. I mean, these nails, pretty. This woman's got some money. You see, you see that right there? You, so I, there's a clothing brand. I don't know if this is the clothing brand. It's called Free People. You guys can look it up. I know this because I lived in West Hollywood, California for 20 years. And Free People, they have a free-flowing clothing brand. And it's really expensive. A top like this, I don't know if this is a Free People top or not. It looks like a Free People top. A Free People top like this would cost $650, $750, $650, $750 bucks, about for for a sweater top like this one from I think it's from Free People. I don't know. That's a, a an oddly cut sweat uh sweater. She doesn't she doesn't want her coat to be dropped on the ground there. Put your hand against the wall. You guys play put your hands against the wall. On the wall. On them. I she doesn't want to touch the wall because it's disgusting. <laughs> Really do, right, do you want to get obstruction too? <laughs> hey, for my for my Trump fans, for my for my Trumpers out there, which I hate Donald Trump, but for my Trumpers out there, remember when Don went to the courthouse, Don Jr., and said how disgusting the courthouse was? You remember when Trump got booked and he didn't have to go to the jail, didn't have to be torture cuffed? We just saw the mug shot. He had to go down to the dungeon and he had to get the mug shot. But he didn't have to put his hands on a wall like this and be patted down. Why does she? Why does she need to be patted down again? How come? Look at her attire. Look at what she's wearing. She there's no, there's no point. <laughs> so stupid. On the wall. On them. I really do not. Right, do you want to get obstruction too? I really you're not following instructions. Is your they're problem. on the wall? No, they're not. They're not touching. Put are you seeing them? Put them on the wall. Are I'm not going to tell you again. So could you clean it for me, please? Do you? No. Okay. Oh, there, there's the dirty piggy. Now we now we see who the dirty pig actually is. There it is. How many of you have tattoos on the back of your hands? I'm, I'm putting them on the wall, ma'am. I'm not going to have to with you. <laughs> <laughs> put your hands on the wall. Don't put your hands up so I can just do my job. You have to actually touch the wall. Why you got to touch the wall? Because I said you got to touch the wall. You mean you can't pat me down with my hands just firmly up in the air? No, no, no. You need to put your hands on the wall. How come I got to put my hands on the wall? Because I said so. Well, you can't just pat me down with my hands up in the air? No, no, no. Your hands have got to go on the wall. Your hands have got to go on the wall. 
If you don't get your hands on the wall, it's going to be another criminal charge because I'm impatient. This is a joke. And, and, and the reason I started laughing, by the way, is look at her little hand. I mean, I, I you know, I'm a straight man, so I, I love women, you know. L look how, look, look at her, you know. It's so neat. She's got a little hand up on there. She's, you know, she's not, not really pressing down men. We, you know, we, we, when we grab another guy, just put your hand into him. Right. But she's not doing that. Cause she's got the nails. She can't just push her hand into her and push her against the wall. Cause she could pop a nail off. <laughs> They're not moving. Play I, you. I don't want your shirt. I, you, I want, no, I put you. your hands on the wall now. I mean, I'm not Look, she won't shove her. Can I go pee? She wants to go pee. I have to hold them. I will hold Can them. I pee, when I'm done. Can I pee, please? Wow. wow. If somebody could just, you know, listen, it would be so hard, right? It would be done. Why do you need to search her like that? It's just stupid. It's just stupid. All right. I'm so sorry that you have such a life because I do too. But Jesus, you picked the wrong job. And, and now look job. how she's treating her body. Look how she's, I mean, look how she smacks her hands around and presses and pushes. Like, like what a bitch. I do too. But Jesus, you picked the wrong job. Look at just disrespecting another human being. Yeah, I picked the wrong job. Yeah, you did. They got to get a guy in there to shove her against the wall. Because they're. You, you, we don't need pigtails. Like, she doesn't need to be in jail. Yeah. You already searched right there, bitch. You already snapped her waistband. I saw it two seconds ago. You, you just did that a second ago. You're doing it twice. She did it right here. Because I do too. But Jesus. Do you see that right there? She just did it right there. She just did exactly what. The wrong job. Watch it again. Because I do too. But Jesus. Okay, so we cl we even saw her G string. Keep them on the wall. Now she's doing it again. Thank you. She, she already did this. We saw her, her thong panties. We saw it already. She flipped it and snapped it. We saw her do it. You already did that, bitch. You already did that. You're pulling her underwear up the crack of her butt even further. No, she never got told when she was pulled over. She asked back there and she asked again here. Oh, come on. She doesn't have a weapon. Leave her alone. What a nut. This chick is a nut. Fault. We're not the ones that put the warrant on you. We didn't arrest you. Whenever you got arrested, that's not on us. Uh, when I got arrested, keep, keep your hands on the wall. This is not on you. This is not on you right now. No, you got arrested before. Keep your hands on the wall. Why? Didn't they just pat her down thoroughly? Didn't they just check her thoroughly? Why does she have to stand there with her? Why can't she put her arms down and just turn around? Just stand there like a normal person. Why does she have to be treated in that manner? Why does she have to be treated this way? Like, so, so watch. It's, it's that simple. Okay. It's she's been thoroughly wall. searched. Okay. She's been searched completely up and down her boots, crack of her butt, her front, her armpits. Everything's been searched thoroughly. Now, now watch. You didn't arrest you whenever you got arrested. So, so can the stupid human trick stop now? Why does she have to stand there like that? She she said, so this isn't on you right now. She's talking with her hand. Keep your hands on the wall. Keep your hands on the wall. What a joke. What what a joke. And we've allowed the system to be perpetuated. You got arrested before. You see what I'm sure. Take off. Socks off? Correct. Is this your first time being arrested? No, it's not. Okay, so you should be familiar with this. Let me sit on your feet, please. What'd she say? Is this your first time being arrested? No, it's not. Okay, so you should be familiar with this. Let me sit on your feet, please. I couldn't understand her. Put your socks back on. You can put your shoes back on. What were you arrested for before? Don't talk to pigs. Probably the reason to let the warrant. 
Is there a reason why I'm getting processed right now? You're under arrest. Why, why? They just searched her. Why does she have to go in torture cuffs? That would have been just for the... For the uh... So as soon as they are allowed to put you in torture cuffs, the person putting the torture cuffs on you can torture you. Put a one in the chat if you know that. The person applying... How many times have you guys seen me talk to cops and the cops will go, oh, the torture cuffs aren't torture if you apply them on properly. Those cops in Oklahoma that I pulled over on the side of the road and one of the cops put on the torture cuffs for half a second. Torture cuffs are always torture. So that means the person who's putting her in those torture cuffs can torture her even further. You can get a warrant for not paying a traffic ticket. Just for the warrant, and then close the door. Look at look at that place. Why do we have to be treated that way? Why do you have to go lay on a metal on a metal bench? Why do you have to be surrounded by bars? That's not going to make you a better person. You're not going to be better from spending any time inside of that dungeon. It'll make you worse. Does he always walk backwards? What kind of, I mean, what kind of bozo clown world are we living in? Do you know what the warrant's for? Um, I think it's what I have court for in a couple of weeks. I think for a because so, so I got it in December. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's for feeling up here. So why not? So why not just? It's so it's for something I have court for it already set. Because like, right? you, 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 you didn't go to court. court. Yeah, but they have a new court date set. Understood. Until then, because you didn't go the first time, you didn't warn. And all it would have been was you getting out of here in two hours, some paperwork, and that's it. Don't cry. Pull it together. They want to see you cry. Do not cry. Don't let. Don't give them the satisfaction. I'm gonna be on your chair right now, you guys. You need to urinate right now. I told you I could. I just. I, I mean. Don't think she's gonna show you some humanity. Right. Well, you also said a lot of things, so I didn't know if it was just a ploy or if you wanted to. Just oh, it's always a ploy. You're not really thirsty. You're not really hurting. Your wrist really doesn't hurt. You really can breathe. You're lying and saying that you can't breathe. She, that pig epitomizes everything wrong with pigs. I mean, right. Well, you also said a lot of things, so I didn't know if it was just a ploy or if you wanted another ploy. Put a one in the chat if that's all pigs say. Oh, you, we, we thought she was just faking it. You should he read all the comments in my short that says this is what happens when you go to jail. So many people, when I say the guards don't come down and help you, so many, and even prison guards are chiming in and going, they're setting us up so they can kill us. Well, number one, that's not true. It's not true. When a bunch of people are screaming because someone's having a heart attack or they're choking to death, that's what's happening. That's 99% of the time that's what's happening. And number two, for the 1% of the time, they're actually doing a ploy to lure the guard in to kill the guard. Why are they doing that? How come that's happening? Why would, why would people want to kill you if you're a prison guard? How come? What have you done to those people that would make them want to have one guy fake an injury so that you come in so they can kill you? What have you done to those people? Oh, people are just evil? They just naturally just, I want to, I want to kill prison guards. I'm already living in a dungeon, but now I could get out of here in a few years, but I want to kill prison guards. It's just, it's all such a lie. It's all such a lie. But to just argue where I was speaking to you calmly and kindly and I, you just escalated I, I, everything. You so. were not speaking calmly and kindly, bitch. You were being horrible. Excuse me for not believing it. And you were, I was speaking to you calmly and kindly and. 1456. 1456. We're at 1456 right there. I was speaking to you calmly and kindly. 1456. Ma'am, I don't need advice. I'm not asking you for your advice, is what I'm saying. Man, yeah, it seems like she's being really, really nice. Seems like she's being really nice. Argue, or I was speaking to you calmly and kindly, and oh, it doesn't look like it. Everything, so excuse me no. for not believing it. And I even trying Stand to up, speak please. to you calmly and, and as well, and that's why I'm just confused. Just what's why does she have to have her arms behind her back to walk to the bathroom? It's just we've just allowed this horrible system to be created. Horrible. We've we've made it so that if you're arrested, I mean, and, and this is showing it. 
if you get arrested, you are now just some evil mother, killer, executioner. Look, she can't even go to the bathroom. They could take the cuffs off her, send her to the bathroom, and she could come back because she's locked inside of that place. And if you wander off, they're going to then grab you and put you into a, a detention cell. Why, why is she the worst person? Why does she have to be shackled like a pig to go to the restroom? Trying to speak to you calmly and, as well. And that's why I'm just confused as to what's going on here, guys. Figure- oh, you've entered the dungeon of despotism. You guys, I mean... I- the way they treated this woman, you'd think that none of the cops had a mother or a sister or a daughter. Oh, they don't care about you, Brian. You know that. They don't give a shit about you. They don't care about you at all. Nothing. You're not even human to them. They are the elite humans. They are the humans that are worth caring about. And you are a scumbag because you got a warrant. This woman harmed no one, harassed no one, threatened no one. But she was harmed harassed and threatened by the protectors and servants of society. Aside from this entry taken from the Crime Watch website, I see no evidence that this woman is a threat to anybody. Police lie on reports, so they can't be trusted. What we see here appears to be a violation of this woman's privacy and her life and the rest of her liberties. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the global thought police in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my email list through my website, High Impact Flicks. Love Brian's channel. That's here's the deal. That's who did the analysis for us here on this. If you guys want to jump in there, if you notice, I always, uh, yeah, I stop caring what the clown sheeples of this country think because I read the comment section of people who will say, Um, oh, well she, you know, jail's not supposed to be a fun, happy place. You're not supposed to be having a good time. You're being punished. Is that right? Is that right? So what's happened in our country is these jackboot thug pigs have been given ultimate reign over us and all the cop shows law and order and chips and, and, uh, the old ones with Barney Fife and, They've created this idea that cops are these reasonable, nice, good people. And they're not. Cops are scum. You have to be somewhat of a loser to sign up to be a cop. You're going along life and you're like, I think I'm going to be a cop. No, you're going along life. You can't get a good paying job that pays you 10,000 bucks a month, but you can if you sign up to be a pig. You can't entrepreneur and create your own business because if you did, If you could, you would, because I'll tell you what, you'd much rather sell a trifold than be a pig. You can't fit into a system other than a military system where you have to do what you're told. You can't have an autonomous person. They have to be trained to do as they're told and follow orders from another person. That's the kind of human being that a cop is. They can't go out and make their own way. They need to be told what to do. They need to be in a very structured system. That's why if you leave the military, you go right into the pig shack and it's the same system. In the military, you're told what to do X, Y, and Z. You have more liberty and freedom in the military. I know because half my cousins went into the military. You have more liberty and freedom in the military than you do being a cop. It's more structured when you're a pig. And then they let you go out into the world and you could do whatever the hell you want. And then when you come back, they train you and tell you, be afraid of everybody. Make sure you put everybody in shackles. If they, if you bring them to the dungeon, make sure if they have to get up from the dungeon chair to go to the bathroom, you shackle them from the dungeon chair to the bathroom. That's, that's the system that we've created. And we've allowed it. You and I have allowed this to happen. And that's why we have to undo this before we die. We, we don't have much time. We don't have much time. (sighs) Pretty sad. Pretty sad. So not only are cops arresting people just for anything at all, if you try to do anything to have any fun at all whatsoever, the police may arrest you. If, If you do anything where they could say they're suspicious of you, 
the police could arrest you and ruin your life. So this girl is a live streamer and she does like little pranks. Natalie gets arrested, Nat live. She does little pranks. She's a prankster so that she can have, you know, you see it here. She does free candy here. You can see that in the square. And that's what she does. I'm not going to subscribe to her channel. She mostly does uh, this other platform called Kick where she goes live on Kick. And and so she's doing this prank. I'll let, I'll let the video show you. You're on the car. Oh my God, oh my God. You're on the ground. Now, hands up, hands up. No, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Get on the ground. Get out of the car now. Okay, okay, okay. Get out loud. Look how, just, it's just so, we've allowed this system to be perpetuated, that they can treat us any way they want in the name of officer safety. Get out of the car now. I'm scared. I'm scared for my life. Get out of the car now. I didn't join the military because I don't want to be talked to that way. Yeah. I just want to see if they can read. I want to make sure my viewers know how to read. Guys, I have a kidnapper van. That's the stereotype. Not actually a kidnapper van. I'm not a kidnapper. I have a kidnapper van with a sign that says free candy. And I'm doing this and I'm dressed kind of like a thug. <laughs> like some Does she look like a thug to you? I'm dressed as a thug because I, you're a thug too today. Okay. I'm a thug. You're, um, you're a scary thug. Let's, let's just not show the back and just go pick up. The yeah, we won't show the back. Yeah. Guys, should I tell them what we're going to do no, with the kid? Don't tell them. Don't we'll, tell tell them. Them. we'll tell them about yeah. the gist. Like, there is actual okay. candy in Okay, shit. guys, there is actually candy in this van. But you guys know the story where it's like, oh, like, kids, don't go don't go to the sign that, the, like, the van that says that they're giving out free candy. Like, everyone's heard that stereotype before. And the parents always say to watch out for the white van with free candy on it. So I'm literally doing a social experiment today on little kids and being kind of creepy and telling them to come to the car to see if they... Okay. Hey, do you guys want some free candy? Free candy? We're giving out free candy. No matter what kind of black do-rag she puts on her head, she... It's just stupid. You, you're not a thug because you put on a black bandana. It's just ridiculous. You can't change that you have no calluses on your hand. You can't change that you look like you're well-fed and well-kept. <laughs> no free candy? You sure? You want free candy? Right All right. When a girl walks up with a camera and offers free candy, it's not exactly a scene where a kidnapping is happening. That's ridiculous. No one could look at this as a conscious observer and go, yeah, there's a guy following a girl with a camera and they're giving away free candy. So they're kidnapping children on camera. It's so stupid. Is that okay? If he gets free candy? Oh God, dude, this is weird. This is weird. Uh, do dose, it, dose they, they, they don't speak English, chick. Gratis? She said okay. Oh, yeah, free candy. Free candy? Ben, come. Yeah. It's oh, right here. Okay. This is cool. okay. Right, do you want to come get free candy? I can see why she's not very popular. She's not very entertaining. Oh, my God. Oh. Why is she just having a kid? Okay, no, wait, actually, uh, because there's a camera on and a girl who looks like you, and you don't look like a thug killer, honey. Sorry, don't have him scream, don't have the guy scream. Don't yeah, have the guy. Oh my god, okay, guys, what kind of candy do you guys want? Uh, I want chocolate, chocolate van that says free candy on it. And seeing if kids like, are you like a former it, seal you know? or something? Are you related to David Goggins? Me neither. Do you like so you can't yeah. shut up, bro? Oh. Dude, oh. shut up. Sweet. We have um Twix, oh. Swedish fish. Oh. Shut up. Shut up, bro. Okay, so so this is the reason why the cops get involved eventually here. They have a guy in the back screaming as though he's been kidnapped and kicking his legs around. Could any consciously half intelligent person not look at this and go, you doing a TikTok skit? <laughs> Come on. Right. Stanley, Stanley's got it. Like not only is it a ridiculously stupid skit, it's boring. 
Like this skit so far, I'm like falling asleep. I came on to talk to you guys just so you'll stay for a second because this is so freaking boring and stupid. It's unbelievable. I feel dumber from the last 30 seconds of watching this nitwit do this stupid prank. It's the stupidest shit I've ever seen. Like, I, I wish I could... <laughs> I wish I could smoke something right now so I could get a laugh. Like, this is the most ridiculous clown shit ever. So I'll stay with you for a second. Oh, dude. Oh, shut up. He's good. Here, do you want Twig? Yeah, he's, he's fine. Stupid. Dude, shut the fuck up. Sorry, oh, Daddy. Oh, she's hardcore. She even lowered down. Shut the fuck up. She lowered down the curse word. People who are bad say, shut the fuck up. It goes up. She, she, my, uh, that's my, uh, my uncle. He's being bad today. He didn't give me enough money for, a, uh, you know, to use for videos today. So this guy, he should know right here, they're doing a skit. It's so painfully obvious and it's stupid too. So I have to tie him up. He's good. Don't He's worry good. about it. Okay. You, you can get back He's to your okay. workout. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry about Sorry about, about that. I'm showing how stupid Brad, thanks for coming to the, to the, uh, to the live stream, Brad. Welcome, man. I'm showing how stupid pigs are. I'm showing I, the reason I'm showing this, which by the way, I've already seen this. So I'm showing you how ridiculously stupid, reasonable, articulable suspicion is. You could say you're suspicious of anything. I'm suspicious of what's in Chili's red cup. I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious about everything. Don't worry about it. Forgot he was back there. Bye. And then that guy says, for God, he was back there as a camera's going over and he's got a microphone on his lapel. There, keep him in there. Keep him in there. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Stay down, pussy. <laughs> she sounds so hardcore. He's good. He's good. He's okay. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> Go get your sick pump in, bro. Have a good time. Enjoy those Twix. Oh yeah, here you go. Bro, have a good time. Enjoy those Twix. What about this looks like it's serious at all whatsoever? What what about this makes it look serious? Tell me, does this look fake as all get out? Is this ridiculous? Yes. Yeah, just go ahead. Yeah, we got There's here. Hey. Okay, so they're filming TikTok videos. <laughs> Yeah, turn it around, man. Turn it around. I'm sure you like my face. You want to rest? Yeah, free candy. Get out, get out of the car. Don't spit that on me. Okay, put okay, it down. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. What's all? What's all? What's all? YouTube. We're just giving out free candy. Uh, he knows right away. That guy, he works for that department store wherever they are, and he knows right away that they're. What's your all's YouTube? They're doing a YouTube video. Is that a cop car getting all serious though? It's first. I've seen y'all before. No, like it's a school project. Huh? It's a school project. I, Social experiment. Are. This is it. Oh shit! Fuck. We're fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. This is the reason you did it, honey. You wanted a reaction. Now you're getting the reaction. So just have fun with it. Is he? He's it. Can we leave? Can we leave? Yeah, you gotta close the door. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. no well, well, can we leave? Wait, Jack. Can we leave? So not only is there a guy with a camera, he's got a giant light on top of it. So it's obviously a skit. It's a skit squared. It's a skit for everybody. And there's your talent right there. That's the talent on set. Wearing her stupid necklace and stupid shirt and stupid writing on her pants. You can see that this is a stupid set for a stupid show for a stupid prank. Right? Put a one in the chat if you agree with that. The cops are about to get involved. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. no well, well, can we leave? Like, Wait, Jack, can yeah. we leave? Am I being detained or am I free to go? Oh shit! The van? No, we got. Do we? What do we do? Chat. What the fuck do we do? You you figure out another line of work, honey, because you're not good at this. Oh shit! He's coming. Oh shit, guys, we're fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. God damn it! You wanna hang out with the clown? Hit the we got My God. I'm I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Um, what's her name again? Nat. Nat, you know, you got the charisma of a slug. You're pretty, but not much charisma as far as like on screen presence and energy and power. You know, you are pretty, but not 
I don't, you know, you know, I lived in Hollywood, California for 25 years. And the, the really sad thing about, about when you get there is you figure out really quick that nine out of 10 people don't have any talent. They were the brightest bulb in their little town where they were from, or they're the biggest fish in the pond where they lived and they moved to Hollywood and you get them on set and the, there's no talent there. And that's, you know, I mean, not now, Natalie's not maybe talentless, you know, I mean, she's okay. Clown patrol. She's, she's pretty. I mean, she's middle of the road, regular, pretty. I, I mean, I'm, I'm showing the video though, because I mean, so I'm, the reason I'm showing this video is everybody here can see that it's, she's bad at doing pranks. She's bad at doing YouTube. She's bad at it. Do we agree on that? And that it's so obvious. It's unbelievable. Do y'all think we'd be lit? Do you guys just watch my streams to see me get shot? Oh, like, oh, that? Oh, oh another, cop. another cop. Another cop. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Dude, he looked at the sun. <laughs> he looked so sad. <laughs> he looked like a psycho. Oh, oh my, my fucking God. It's oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. And now you're sitting oh, wait, right wait, there. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna kill Put me. your hands up, Natty. Put your hands up. Oh my god! Okay. Oh my! My fucking fuck! Why does he say? Why does he talk to him that way? Why is he ordering him out of the car? Yeah, out of the car. So stupid. I mean, us watching this are bored with this. These people are terrible at this. On the ground. Hands up, hands up. And he's still filming everything. Get out of the car now. Okay, 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 okay. Get on the ground. Okay, okay. Get out of the car. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. Get out. Hey! It's just so ridiculously stupid. I don't I I don't know. I don't know which is more stupid. Is it the skit or the cops? T take a vote. Skit or cops? Which is more stupid? You're voting for which is more stupid? The dumb skit or the dumb cops? Which one's dumber? The fact that the cops would go running at them and turn their lights on. Get out of the effing car! Get out of the effing car! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! It's discouraging more than anything else. It's, it's discouraging to think for one second that these jackboot thug pigs are allowed to pull people over based on suspicion. And that's what we were looking at right there. We were, we were, we were looking at the dumbest of dumb. That's what we were looking at. We were looking at the, I mean, it's, it's the king of all stupidity, the king of all stupidity. Oh yeah, I've I've seen I've So look, look, I'm just coming over. Do me a favor everybody, hit the like button. Hit the like button. So look, look I'm just coming over cuz the security for the mall. Yeah, I'm oh. not going to move at all. Okay. I will actually kill every fucker that comes here. Okay, well, we don't want that. Okay? I don't care. Okay. That's okay. what I'm more okay, I'm look, at. Okay. Okay. Look. I'm just trying to talk to you. Okay? okay, I'm gonna sleep right here, so you can do what you want to do. Okay. Either protecting the fan, or I'm gonna fucking destroy your fucking human being. Understand? I understand, but why are you coming at me like that? Well, I'm, I'm just, just letting you and, know, and I'm just letting you know too. Okay. Don't what, tell me what to do okay, at I'm all. Not, I'm not letting you know. I'm not telling you what to do. Okay. I'm just letting you know what security has advised us. Okay? I am security for the whole country. Okay. You want Iran and China to fucking bust your nut or what? No, not at all. Well, I'm Did the I guy. Say that? Listen to me. Did I'm, I say that? Shh, just listen. No, I'm telling you right listen now. Listen to no, what? I'm, no, we're not doing you know that. You know what? Hey, you better step back, dude. Step back. I'm going to fuck step. your ass up, okay. bitch. Okay, you better step back right I now. I said get the fuck okay, out of here step now. Back. Step back, right? I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight. Let's do it. Let's fight. Why'd you pick the fight? We're, we're one minute in. In one minute. In less than one minute. She harassed somebody enough. Look. Look, I'm just coming over because the security for the mall. Yeah, I'm oh. not going to move at all. Okay. I will actually kill every fucker that comes here. Okay, so right then and there, she needs to say, okay, give me a second. And she needs to walk away 
and call a man. We're not equal. Oh my God, I hate to reveal this. Don't cancel me. Men and women are not equal. Huh? Men can't give birth to children and women can't typically fight men. Oh, I'm canceled. I'm probably canceled. I'm probably canceled. I just said men and women are not equal. Oh no. This guy who has an army jacket on, so he's got a big beard. You look at him and you just, he's, I mean, your brain just goes, maybe he's a veteran, right? You don't know. Maybe he served in a war. I don't know. But when he says the very first line, I'm going to F you up. She's shorter than him and smaller than him. At that point, she should say, give me a second. And she goes and calls a man. A man. Men are stronger than women. We're not equal. Men need women. Women need men. We have an innie and we have an outie. They connect. We connect with each other. We need each other. We're not equal. We're not the same. We're not the same in a lot of ways. Lots of ways we're not the same. <laughs> so right here, she should have called for backup. I called a man. Well, we don't want that. Okay? I don't care. Okay. That's okay. what I'm where okay, I'm look, at. Okay. That, so he says he doesn't care. That's where he is. Look, I'm just trying to talk to you. Okay, okay I'm going to sleep right here so you can do what you want to do. Okay, so now we know he's homeless and he sounds like he could be drunk, maybe slightly mental. And he weighs about you know, 230. Looks like he's about six foot so something, maybe 230, 220. Either protect and defend or I'm going to fucking destroy your fucking human being. Now he's threatened her two or three times in 21 seconds. At this point, she should say, you know what? I'm going to step back. I'll, I'll, have a good night, sir. Turn around and call a man. I understand. I understand, but why are you coming at me like that? Well, I'm, I'm just, just letting you know. And, and I'm just letting you know too, okay? Don't. So she tries to de-escalate using her words. I, I can respect that. Tell me what to do okay, at I'm all. Not, I'm not letting you know. I'm not telling you what to do. Okay. I'm just letting you know what security has advice. Us, okay? I am security for the whole country. Okay. Okay, so now he could be mental. You want Iran and China to fucking bust your nut or what? Okay, so now he's at the least impaired and further mental. No, not at all. Well, I'm Did the I guy. Say that? Listen to me. Okay, he's threatened her three or four times, literally saying he's going to beat her up. Did I'm, I say that? Just listen. No, I'm no. <laughs> telling you right listen. now. Listen. No, she says, just listen. She says, no, I'm telling you right now. Honey, we're not the same. So no, what? I'm no, we're not doing you know that. What? Hey, you better. Oh, now, now he physically is getting aggressive. Step away. You have a camera. You know where he is. He's either drunk, mental, or both. He can't go far. Just go away. Get to safety. Back down for a second. Retreat. Come back later with more people. One of them being a man. Step back, dude. Step back. I'm going to fuck Step. your ass up. Okay. okay, so right there you say, you know what? You're right. I'm going to de-escalate this by walking away. Bitch. You better step back. Right now. I said, get the fuck get out of here now. Back. Now, you know what? Maybe she's a badass, you know? Maybe she's a grappler and she wrestled all through high school and even in college. Maybe she can whoop his ass. I'm in a fight. I'm in a fight. I'm in a fight. I'm in a fight. And now every single pig on the force is like, I'm going to save Natalia. Natalia needs help. She's in a fight. Let's go, Brad. You betcha, you, Chad. Get off me. Get off me. If you come any closer. <laughs> is that a gun or is that a taser? I'm gonna shoot you. It's a gun. It's a gun. She's gonna shoot him. She had five warnings that she's not equipped to handle this, that a guy doesn't need to die, that he's drunk and could be mental, and that just a couple guys could easily hold him down. Easily. One man could hold him down. Instead, she didn't back down. She didn't act appropriately, and now he's looking at losing his life. And he's had a life. He's got a beard. He's an old man. He spent some time. He's homeless. How'd he get there? Must have been a journey. I'm going to shoot you, dude. I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you. Get the fight. fuck Hold out of here template. now. Get up. Stop. You don't get the stop. Fuck I'm going to shoot here. you. I'm going to shoot you. So you're going to kill him because he's walking? Shoot you, dude. Shoot. Get off him. Get off. Get off. He shot him in the heart. 
She shot him in the heart. Are you kidding me? She shot him. She shot him again. He's stopping. Stop moving. I'm going to continue to shoot you. Stop. He's, honey, he's dead. He's walking dead, man. You shot him in the heart. He's going to collapse any second. Shots fired. Shots fired. Fire, you fire. ended his life. Your He's dead. In front, lower level. He's dead. You Stop killed him. Down. You killed him. In front of Do not move. Again, not move. One, two, four, Do not four, move. Four, 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 four. Start responding. I'm at the lower level <laughs> next to the parking lot. Close this. Is That's how big she is, and she didn't just de-escalate and back down. She killed him. She murdered him. He was drunk. You could hear him slurring his words. You better get out of here. I'm, I'm security for the whole world. You could hear him slurring his, slurring his uh, speech. And I, I think what's the sickest part about it, welcome to another demonetized video. I'm not allowed to show cops shoot people. If you show cops shoot people, bury that video. I'm going to shoot you, dude. Shoot! Okay, so, she, 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 so he stopped right there, grabbed his heart. She shot him in the heart. And now he's kind of slowing toward that pillar right there. She shot him again. His his feet had taken half steps after she yeah. she shot him the first time. Now he's kind of walking slow. Yeah. She shoots him again, even though the gap between them is widening. Stop! Stop moving! I'm gonna continue to shoot you. Stop! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired. From your location. In front, lower level. Suspect down. In front of. Do not, do not move. Not move. Do not move. No care at all. She shot him in the heart. No standard of care. Nothing. She's still worried about her safety when she had five warnings that her safety could be in jeopardy. She doesn't have a taser. She couldn't have tased a drunk old man. And I should start responding. I'm at the lower level next to the parking lot. Close this. Down. Okay. Relax, relax, breathe. So look. So one man got there four minutes too late and she murdered a man. She murdered him. He gave, he, I mean, I mean, let, let's listen. I'm just coming over because the security for the mall. Yeah, I'm oh. not going to move at all. Okay. I will actually kill every fucker that comes here. Okay, well. At that point, she's not equipped to take on a man with her hands. And by the way, any guy, any man, most men could take this guy on. Even, even the beta male weaklings could take this guy on. We don't want He's that. drunk. And I mean, it looks like he's kind of burly. I don't care. Okay. That's okay. what I'm okay, looking at. Okay. So now he's now she's going to try to de-escalate this by talking, right? Look, I'm just trying to talk to you. Okay, okay I'm going to sleep right here, so you can do what you want to do. Okay. Either protecting the fan, or I'm going to fucking destroy your fucking human being. There. Okay. So say, you know what, sir? Give me one second. Have a nice night, and go back to your car and lock the door until someone gets there that can take on a man. Understand? I understand, but are you coming at me like that? I'm just, just letting you and, know. And I'm just letting so me... she, he let her know. He, he's let her know. He told her. You know, too, okay? Don't like, tell so, me what to do okay, at I'm all. Not, I'm not letting you know. I'm not telling you what to do. Okay. I'm just letting you know what security has advised us. Okay? I am security for the whole country. Okay. Put a one in the chat if you think this guy's drunk. You want Iran and China to fucking bust your nut or what? No, not at all. 
Well, I'm Did the guy. I say that? Listen to me. Did I'm, I say that? Shh, just listen. No, I'm telling you right listen now. Listen to no, what? I'm, no, we're not doing you know that. What? Hey, you better step back, dude. Step back. Here's why women join the pig force. Women pigs, pigtails, have this delusion that they can tell you, a man, what to do, and you will do what they say. You can hear it right here. L listen to this five-second exchange right here, and you'll hear the mentality of, of women who sign up to be pigs. I was trying to think of a different name. It's hard to call pigs, pigs who sign up to be pigs, who are female. She's not equipped to take on a man, but listen to these words right here. Listen to no, what? I'm no, we're not doing you know what? She, she says, listen to my words. He's bigger and stronger than her, and he's drunk. I'm telling you right listen. now. I'm telling you right now, she says. No, I'm no, we're not doing you know that. What? And then she says, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> he's already said he doesn't respect you. He's already said he's ready to fight and die and kill everybody there. And now she's going to tell him, no, and that's not how it's going to go. It's just the audacity and the arrogance of her. Hey, hey you better step back, dude. Step back. I'm going to fuck step. your ass up, okay. bitch. You better step back right I now. I said, get the okay, fuck out of here step step now. Back. Step back, right? I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight. Sit here. Let's fight. Get off me. Okay, retreat now. Get out now. Now that you know the guy's ready to go hands-on, there's a lawn to the right over here. See this lawn over here? Right, right here with the volume button's popping up. Go to the lawn over here and retreat to your car. Stop me. Fuck you, nigger. If you come any closer, Ugh. I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you, dude. I'm going to I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot. Six to the fight. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to watch this guy get murdered again, to be honest with you. I mean. Get out. Get up. Stop. So, so she's, he's, it, he's old and immobile. She could outrun him in two seconds flat. She, if she turned and ran, he couldn't catch her. Fuck I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you, dude. Shoot. Get off me. Get off. Get off. She shoots him again. Stop, Stop moving. I'm going to continue to shoot you. Stop. I'm going to continue to shoot you. Shots fired. Shots fired. Fire, shots fired. From your location. In front, lower level. Suspect down. In front of no, do not move. Again, not not move. One, two, four, do three, not four, four, move. Do not move. responding. I'm at the lower level next to the parking lot. Close this. To the there she is, right there. There, there's the little terrorist right there. Well, you got to kill somebody, honey. Little pig got to kill somebody. Hope you feel good about yourself, pig. Hope you feel good about yourself, piggy. Let's take a look together and see what, what we got over here. Let's just see if there's any. Suicide by cop or mental illness or both. So right there. He didn't try to kill himself by a cop. He was drunk and belligerent, and he needed a man to put him down on the ground. That's it. That, that, that's how men are. That's how we are. We're physical. M women are not supposed to be physical like we are. We're different. Men and women are different. We're not equal. I have testosterone. If you're a woman, you don't have any. We're different. Our brains are different. Our hips are different. Our bones are different. Our heart, our lungs are different. We're different. The very first comment, though, says suicide by cop. Really? Neither, in my humble opinion. I try to stay as unbiased as possible when judging body cam footage. This person had zero right to be a cop. This man was not an immediate threat to anyone, so she could have simply went to her patrol car and waited for backup. Also, if she's not going to wait for backup, not advisable in this situation, she has a taser spray and a batonian. There's zero reason to go for her firearm unless this dude has a weapon that's invisible. And I'm constantly called a bootlicker on Reddit. But this lady was horrible. You're called a bootlicker?
this is hindsight in a situation. She did not have, she did not, she did a lot to try to de-escalate the situation. You can't hit a cop and shouldn't be shocked if you get shot after you do it. Basic rule of U.S. society. No, no, I don't accept that. No, I don't accept that at all. Not one bit. The immediate was threat was him starting to grab her. She should have left. She should have left. More bootlicking. If he's going to act this way with an armed officer, imagine if a defenseless member of your family. Clearly biased. Maybe you're a major equal rights feminist or something for thinking an obviously crazy guy twice the size of a woman is a fair fight. But after being attacked, she was backing away the whole time saying she was going to shoot. She had no choice. That's what's happening. Here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Oh, my. look, it doesn't get any clearer. Forget that he's drunk and belligerent. We hold these truths that that's we hold these truths self-evident that men are created equally. I disagree. I do too. I do too. This is actually the most justifiable police shooting I've ever seen. She didn't just pull up and pop him. She made contact and tried to de-escalate and gave him warnings. She fired one shot in the heart to kill him. <laughs> I can't read anymore. Uh, she didn't do anything wrong. This is, this is, do you see now, like, like sometimes when I'm like you know, talking and hanging out and we're going through some stuff, do you see now why sometimes I like get this like really intense look in my eyes and I'll be like, do what I tell you to do. Invoke your fifth amendment, right? Use your cop card, use your camera. You know, I get like this super over the top intensity where like I'm talking to hundreds of people at a time live and then thousands of people will see the video later. And I realize when I'm talking that way. So like, let me just, let me go to that place real quick. He walks up to her. She walks up to him and says, Hey, what are you doing here at the mall? Okay. And then he says, I'm going to mess you up. Okay. Right there, right there. The moment. The cop walks up to you the very first second that that cop approaches you. You get your card out of your wallet, and the second you see the cop, you say, I invoke my First Amendment right immediately. Will you give me a non-driver card, will you? James, give me a non-driver card. Get a second. And I, and I say that to you, and I'm like, Get your, get your card out of your wallet and put it in their face and show them immediately cop sided. You start filming and say, I invoke my first amendment, right? The law is in the blue. Number two, cop approaches and says any words at all. I invoke my fifth amendment, right? To remain silent. The cop loses qualified immunity for questioning you further. And sometimes when I say these words, I'm a little bit impacted right now from watching that chick murder him. And I'll be like saying this to you guys looking into camera and I'll be just like hellfire and brimstone. And I feel my intensity and my passion. And I'll be like, man, I'm really like demanding that people do what I tell them to do. And so I feel like this, like I better dial it back and like be a little nicer and be like, Hey, look, you know, I got the card two for one. Like, you know, what can I do? You know, but the reason I get that way is because if you don't follow a rigid set of policies, procedures, and protocols, they will kill you. And then after they kill you, that aggressive mental illness in itself is a bit of an immediate threat. Immediately, the bootlickers will, will justify the reason why F off. She's not about to get overpowered by some army vet who's having a break. He literally was a threat to the officer. <laughs> Even as a man, if a guy's double your size puts his hands on you as combative, out of natural instinct, you're going to feel the need to either flee or fight by any means necessary. The need to flee. Yes, she should have fleed. What I see here is a guy who's tired of being effed over by society that doesn't give a shit about him. He was ordered not to sleep there and said, F the police, I'm sleeping here one way or another, and then slept there forever.
mental illness. Give me a break. The dude is homeless. His life is hell. There's nothing wrong with his brain. Right. That's right. So many people whining. She gave him plenty of chances. This is the reason why I'm such a dick about it. The reason why I'm like, hey, you have got to use your cop card and use your camera. That's why I'm the way I am. Like I'm this way because of, look at the comments here. Look at the comments that Here's the Deal showed us earlier. On that video, on the original video, the comments were just disgusting. They just validate these pigs and whatever they do to people. And there's just no, there's, there, there's, there's no decency. There's no decency. But this is a narrative that kids. Oh yeah. There it is. This guy. Um, so him, uh, Jimmy Kimmel, um, Richard Dawkins, Neil Tyson Degrassi. There's so many of them who I, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I I can't stand any of them. I can't watch them. I can't put their shows on. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel, uh, the other Jimmy, who's a late night talk show ho, uh, and I said that correct, talk show ho because he hoed himself out for the big pharma companies. This guy here, Jimmy Fallon, uh, Colbert, this guy, I can't, I can't even watch them now that they, they lied and misled and cheated and took the money from the big medical companies. I, I can't even look at them. I can't even, I can't even, I can't even turn his show on. If this guy comes on to an interview, I change the channel. The same thing with Neil Tyson Degrassi. I can't even listen to him. He's the one that said, you have to take the jab. And if you don't take the jab, you shouldn't be able to get service at the hospital. You shouldn't be able to fly in a plane. You shouldn't be able to drive a car. You should be banned from society. Richard Dawkins. I read all the atheist people's books when I was an atheist. And I, I can't I can't look at them now. I can't even. I can't. This Colbert. I, I have no idea what he's doing, what he's been up to lately. I've never watched him. After he did this, it, it, the channel comes on with Colbert on. I turn it. I, I can't look at him. He's he's as bad as a pig to me. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, take a look at it. Look. Same thing. Yeah. Nine out of 10 people took this trash. Nine out of 10 people put this trash in their bodies. That's just unbelievable to me that nine out of 10 people took this shit because of a, of a, of a total sellout hoe like this guy. He's a hoe. He's an absolute hoe. He's an absolute hoe. And then uh, it, it's so funny. Um, the Epstein list <laughs> was finally, I should get some sleep. So I'm, I mean, as you guys know, I absolutely hate Trump. So he's a cop sucker to the max. I would never vote for Trump. So, but it's not, it's not, they found Bill Clinton's name on the manifesto. And when they found Bill Clinton's name on the manifesto and it was published, what that means now is Bill Clinton is done in society. It's completely done. And th by the way, uh, Trump and Epstein were tight friends. They have hundreds of pictures together, vacation together, traveled together. Don't let anybody fool you. Trump's a patter ass, just like Bill Clinton, just like Prince Andrew. They're all in it together, raping kids. So don't let Trump fool you. He's the biggest pedophile as Bill Clinton. They're all the same. They're all in it together. Don't think that that your guy's the good guy. He's not. He's not. It's it's just it's just that simple. I wish it wasn't true. <laughs> What number did you say he's in? Four. 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 My door's open. He's got a gun? Four. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. He's in here. Get here. Get here. Who are you talking to? The fucking in this bag. Oh, okay. Okay. Four. Come on. He's upstairs. Get here. Get here. Who thinks cops are going to kill him? Put a one in the chat if you think cops are going to kill somebody right here. All my videos are demonetized because I show the killing. So I'm voting for Kennedy as well. I'm voting for Robert Kennedy Jr. I wouldn't I wouldn't vote for Democrat or Republican on almost 
16 years now. So I'm not going to vote for a Democrat or Republican, but put a one in the chat. If you think this cop's going to kill this guy. One, someone put a one in the chat for me here. I think this cop's going to kill this person. I think he's going to murder him. He could he could retreat very well. He retreated very well. Do you see how fast he ran? <laughs> the guy opens the door and the cop goes, yeah! and he runs. <laughs> he was down and around the corner before you could even. Like, watch how fast from the moment he gets scared to the moment that he runs. <laughs> watch this. Shot fired. Hey, get in the car. Kill that. Shot fired. What about the other cop he left behind? I mean, what a coward. He left the other cop sitting there by herself and he left a pigtail behind. He's screaming help, help as he runs away. <laughs> Shot fired! Hey, get in the car! Kill that! Get in the car, kill that. I don't know what he's saying. I don't know. I, I don't know. Is he talking? Did the other cop run away too? Because he seemed to be the fastest one down the stairs. Shot fired! Shot fired! Shot fired! I repeat, we have shots fired! Kill that! Kill that! Kill that, kill them? Is that what he said? Kill that, kill them? I repeat, we have shots fired! Kill them! Kill them! Kill them! Let's go! We have shots fired. We're at 2023 East 81st. We need 911 right now. What? I'm so sorry. These people are just so ridiculously weak. That's a spacious crack house, someone said here. It's a crack home. I'm trying to see if there's a, a link for an article. You can often just go down a couple of links, a couple of comments, and you'll find a link to an article. Sc screaming as loudly as humanly possible with no sound coming out. <laughs> it looked like he jumped over the railing. Yeah, and then kind of tumbled himself right. I'm shot. He's like, run, bitch. <laughs> Cop him with the Tariq Hill 4.2 in the 40 yard dash. Oh, God. <laughs> he also hit his partner with bullets. What an absolute idiot. Abandoned his partner, running scared, and then shot blindly back upstairs where his partner was. Oh, but daddy's a supervisor, so he's not even been punished. What an embarrassment. Oh, so he, he also hit his partner? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find the news link that shows. The actual news, well, the, what the lion, here it is. Cops are supposed to be trained for this. They're 
allowed to call for backup. They're allowed to evacuate the rest of the house. They knew there was one armed guy in the bathroom. They knew he didn't have any hostages. Instead, this guy panicked and shot his partner. Terrible training. And I hope the officer who was shot wins her lawsuit. Okay, here it is. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Let's get into it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go down the rabbit hole. So once again, it's in where? The great state of Ohio. The great state of oh, we are. So we already saw the video. A, Cle a Cleveland pig sued her former partner and accused him of excessive force when he shot her when two responded for a man with a gun. Jennifer Kilnap, in her lawsuit filed Wednesday in federal court in Cleveland, accused city and police officials of lying about the circumstances surrounding the shooting and wrongfully charging the man police arrested. She also accused the city of failing to properly train its new pigs and unfairly disciplining her as a pig, while her partner, then a rookie pig, Bailey Gannon, never faced discipline for his January 20, 2020 shooting. City spokesman Maria Zikfus, <laughs> Zikfus, Zikifus, said the city does not comment on pending litigation. Of course, that's how they get out of it. They don't have to make any statements until all the emotions died down. Cleveland Pig Patrolman Association President Pig Jeff Fulmer said he's looking into the situation. Gannon remains an active pig. Kilnap is still unable to return to active duty because of her injuries, according to the lawsuit. The bullet fired by Pig Gannon ripped through Kilnap's forearm, bullet fragments lodged in her bicep and chest near her spine. Wow, bullet fragments lodged in her bicep and chest near her spine, according to her attorneys, Matthew Besser and Kathleen Bolek. Two years later, she still has nerve damage in her arm, wrist, and hand. She also, she also suffers from PTSD. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, you joined the Death Star. You joined an evil organization so that you could have the power you wanted to have over men. You wanted to be able to dominate men. And that's the only reason I see why women join the, the pig force is I can't see it another way. Why would you join a pig force? Especially if you're a 110 pound woman. There's administrative stuff you can do. There's detective work you could do. There's all kinds of roles women could do in policing. The role they should not do is be put in a position where they're supposed to be physically in charge of a man. It's wrong. We're not the same. We're not equal. Men are stronger than women. You watch these Olympians. You watch Tementa Stock. If you watch... Uh, uh, What was that girl's name? She won the bronze medal. God, she was so freaking good. The, the point is, though, if 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 you're Adrian Gray, you know, then I understand you can take on a man. But if you're not, if you're not Gray, then you can't take on a man. You shouldn't be taking on a man. So you get what you get, honey. You put yourself into a man's world where we are physical. We have testosterone. We we're men. We fight each other all the way up until our 20s. And then as soon as you, after your 20s, you're like, I better stop fist fighting people in the streets. We fight each other. It, it, to this day, people who are past their 20s, they get out of their cars and fight each other right there at the stoplight. And that's 98% men. So you put yourself in that situation, honey bunny. The shooting happened at a boarding house on East 81st Street after a woman called police to report a man was acting strange and fired a bullet into the floor. Kilnap and Gannon arrived and the man, Daryl Borden, was inside a bathroom with the door closed. Well, then lock the door and leave him in there. Police and prosecutors for more than a year called the shooting an ambush by Borden. They said that when officers opened the door, Borden fired at them, hitting Kilnap. A SWAT team later arrested Borden. The prosecutor charged him with attempted murder. <laughs> All he did was open the door. He didn't even have a gun pointed at the cop. He just opened the door and, went, ah! and ran away. The lawsuit said homicide investigators began to suspect the day of the shooting that Gannon may have shot his partner. A crime scene analysis by the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigations, BCI, the super cops who are frauds, 
and more investigation. <laughs> oh God. Listen to how the, the lion mainstream media, just listen to this sentence. A crime scene analysis by the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigations and more investigation later <laughs> found that Gannon shot Kilnap. A Cuyahoga County common pleas judge, which is the same kind of Bernard Freeman who wrote Friedman, who wrote Terry versus Ohio in 1964. A Cuyahoga County common pleas judge was Bernard Friedman, who wrote Terry v. Ohio, sentenced Borden to serve 10 years in prison after he pled guilty to attempted murder of a pig. And a federal judge ordered him to an additional four years and eight months in prison for possessing a weapon with a felony record. What a scam. What a scam. Horrible. Court testimony and the lawsuit showed a different version of the events than the official statement. Gannon, according to the lawsuit and testimony, walked up to the bathroom door and never announced his presence as a police officer. He never asked Borden to come out of the room. He opened the door and saw Borden standing with a gun in his hand. So he wasn't even pointing it at him. He took cover behind a wall and then ran down the stairs. No, he did not take cover behind a wall. He opened the door, saw Borden with a gun and said, ah, and ran away. What a lie. The mainstream lion media. He took cover behind a wall, then ran down the stairs, screaming while he fired his gun over his head indiscriminately in Borden's direction. The bullet hit Kilnap. Borden later fired shots, but not at Kilnap or Borden, the lawsuit said. <laughs> Borden later fired shots, but not at the cops. Investigators determined Gannon shot first. Gannon continued running outside after he, after he fired shots, and Kilnap yelled out, I'm shot, I'm shot, don't leave me. <laughs> the lawsuit says Gannon, whose father is a Cleveland police officer supervisor. Well, there it is right there. There it is right there. Gannon's daddy was a pig. So because his daddy was a pig, that means his daddy was a coward. And so you now got to see what the junior Gannon was raised by a coward. And so he's a coward. Coward pig dad, coward pig son. Coward, 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 coward. And if he has a kid, coward, coward, coward. Because bravery is when you're afraid, but you go anyway. Bravery is being scared, but when that door opens, your partner's right there. And if we got to have a shootout, we got to have a shootout. That's what courage is. Yeah, I'm still scared. I don't want to have a shootout, but I'm gonna. And I could die. That's what courage is. Courage is when you're afraid, but you go anyway. So the lawsuit said that Gannon's daddy was also a pig, lied to investigators, but was never disciplined for that or the shooting. Kilnap was suspended without pay for one day for failing to turn on her body camera. Oh, God. Oh, my God. So the cop who shot the other cop was never disciplined, but the other cop who got shot was suspended without pay. Have you ever heard? How many times have we covered stories where the cop is suspended with pay? Have you ever heard of a cop being suspended without pay? I mean, have we ever covered a video where I said the cop was suspended without pay? No, never seen it. It's the first, I mean, this is the first time during a live stream that I've seen that a cop was suspended without pay. Well, why was she suspended without pay? She got shot by another cop and then probably told, I'm going to sue for being shot like this and him running away like a coward. And then they said, okay, you're suspended with no pay. Gannon's supervisor three months later gave him high marks for performance and said the shooting was a minor setback, according to the lawsuit. Yeah, running away like a coward and shooting your partner, minor setback. The lawsuit said Gannon should have known to de-escalate the situation, call for backup, or try and coax Borden out of the bathroom peacefully. Citing the consent decree monitoring team reports in 2020. So, so when you say citing consent, decree monitoring team reports in 2020 and 2021. So what that means, a dissent decree right there, that means that the, the Cleveland police department is under a, a consent decree with the federal government, the feds. 
So that means that according to the dissent decree, let me let me give you a broader scope of understanding what is a, a, a consent decree is. So when the feds crack down on a cop shop, what they do is they send in a bunch of federal cops and they retrain those cops. And a consent decree means that the other cops who are cops in the Cleveland Police Department, they tell the feds, we agree to consent to doing these things that you're going to teach us. That's what a consent decree is. So that they can then fix the problem within that police organization, a consent decree. And that's often happened by the Justice Department of the United States at the federal level. So, so now read it again so you understand it. Gannon should have known to de-escalate the situation and try to corks Borden out of the room, citing the dissent decrees monitoring team reports in 2020. In other words, Gannon was trained in those because his name is in the consent decree reports that he had the training and he knew that he should have done call for backup and try to coax out, try to coax Borden out. The lawsuit also accused the city of failing to provide proper training for both current and new officers. Those reports said the city lagged in its training of officers on excessive force and de-escalation. Often in a dissent decree as well, they'll put federal officers who will ride around in the cars with the local jackboot thug pugs, and often the federal officers know better than the pig in the car, than the state pig. Any gun user knows one of the most basic rules of gun safety is you never point a gun at someone without knowing who might be in the line of fire, Besser said in his statement. By choosing to ignore the basic gun safety rule, Gannon caused devastating consequences. Didn't we see yesterday in a video where they were shooting at a, uh, a sports car driven by a woman, that the cops were just shooting indiscriminately in a neighborhood, that they shot 10 bullets at the car, one hit the woman, and the other nine bullets went somewhere in the community, in that local neighborhood where the houses were? So we saw that yesterday. And then this says that he should understand the basic consequences that you have to know where that gun goes from the line of fire. But we saw that yesterday and none of those cops were punished. Unfortunately, his conduct reflects the Cleveland Division of Police's ongoing culture of excessive force and its longstanding failure to adequately train rookies on the appropriate use of force. Um, it's it's all the training is wrong, all of it. There's not there's not one single bit of training that is is correct that is done correctly. Okay, so that was. Okay, so it was correct. So this is where the this is where the pig was in the crack house and killed that and shot his partner. So Hey, what's up there? Hey, hey, police kill me. Hey, <laughs> what the hell was that? So just so you guys know, the title of this is Fired Alabama Pig Charged with Murder After Shooting Man During Vehicle Repossession. So the fired pig, so he's, he, was, he was already a fired pig is what I think this means. Fired pig is charged with murder after shooting during a vehicle. So he got fired and then his car got repoed because he got fired. But they don't show, so that's what the pig looks like right there. So remember, this guy, uh, attractive-looking, normal dude, right? But remember, he can't get anything going for himself. He can't entrepreneur. He can't be a woodworker. He can't be a producer. He can't be an executive. He can't get anything going for himself. Only losers who sign up to be pigs can't get anything going for themselves. If he could get something going for himself where he could make some money, he would do it. But because he has a clean record, and he may even want to be an authoritarian jackboot thug pig, he signed up to be a pig. So that's how people become pigs. They can't do anything. Else. They're all out of choice. They got to pick a career star so they'll pick a pig because it's easy. All you have to do is follow orders and be told and be willing to. So, so listen to how many shots this fired pig. Oh, I'm not worried about that part. All my videos are, are demonetized. Hey, 
Put put my truck down is what he said. You heard that right? Put my truck down. Hey, hey, police, get on. Now he screamed, "Police, get on the ground!" So was he still a pig? I mean, he shot that gun what fifteen times. The police officer who shot and killed Perkins has been indicted for murder. The morning. <laughs> Damn, Gina. County District Attorney making that announcement just about two hours ago. This is the mugshot from Marquette when he was arrested last night. He turned. Do you think he went in torture cuffs? Put a one in the chat if you think he was not put in torture cuffs. Put a one in the chat if you think that they did not put another cop in torture cuffs. I'm going to put a one in the chat for myself. Turned himself into the Morgan County Jail. The 23 year old turned himself in and was released on a $30,000 bond. This morning, Anderson broke down the process that led to his indictment. He says a grand jury consisted of eight men and 10 women. So they had to convene a grand jury, first of all. They had to bring them together. And then the only person who talks to the, to the grand jury is the district attorney. There's no judge most of the time. Heard from 15 witnesses and unanimously agreed to indict Marquette. Here is the timeline of what led... So that means the prosecutor in this Georgia County... He is, I believe this is Georgia, right? That prosecutor brought in 15 witnesses. So the prosecutor actually did a fair grand jury. And if you do a fair grand jury, a lot of these pigs will be charged with, with, with murder. As to this moment, this all started in the early morning hours of Friday, September 29th. Just so he killed the guy who was the car repossession guy. Before 2 a.m., police were called to the Perkins home on Ryan Drive after a tow truck driver said Perkins pulled a gun on him. That so he calls the cops because a cop pulled a gun on him. Driver was there to repossess his truck. A neighbor's surveillance video shows police surround Perkins from multiple angles, then open fire within seven seconds of encountering him while shouting at him to freeze. Protests over the shooting started less than 24 hours later. Now, on November 17th, the police chief announced he found evidence the officers involved did, in fact, violate department policy and sent their. <laughs> uh, you mean just murdering people isn't a violation of policy? You mean just murdering people in the streets? They. They found several policy violations. What about murder? <laughs> just say, I'm just, what about murder? Is murder a policy violation? I'm just wondering. I I'm just wondering for the people who are slow like me. Their case to the mayor on December 7th, the mayor announced three officers would be fired and a fourth suspended or three officers would be suspended and a fourth fired. Then the day after Christmas, Ali announced its investigation was over and the findings were handed to the DA. The Aaliyah hands over case to Morgan DA. Officers involved were only identified in December after they filed appeals on their terminations and suspensions. And to this man it, 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 down there in Georgia, it looks like the whoever was in charge of this pig shack actually did some stuff, but Day, I, I'm always hesitant to say that because you can never trust these pigs. They're so terrible. What department policies they violated or which have been fired and which was suspended. The officers have been identified as Joey Williams, Christian McAdam. Murderer, 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 murderer. That's the simple fact. Van Summers and Bailey. So their appeal hearings are coming right up January 31st, February 1st. Mac Marquette, who is just and it sucks because I mean, I'm sure you guys know that if they win the appeal, they get back pay and any promotions they would have gotten. And for murder, they're all appealing the disciplinary action and will tell their side of the story later this month and next month. Well, you see, he came around and I, I heard Billy firing. And so because Billy was firing, I thought officer could be in danger. So I started firing. And who's he pleading this to? Other cops. 
And they go, you know, you're right. You did see Billy over there firing, and Billy could have been getting shot. They're just executing the guy in the open. Why did the shooting? Billy, Mac- why did the shooting be so? I okay. I see the guy there. He's got his hands up in the air. See his hands up. That's that little. Just so you know, here, look. This this little light piece right here. That's a hand. That's a hand up in the air. You see that? You can see it. There's. It's not. Um. It's not magic. That that's his hand. Now you can see both. There's the hand over there. There's the hand over there. Both of his arms are up, and he's like freaked out because there's a bunch of pigs closing in on him. Now they cover it up. Of course. Of course they do. You, you see the bullets hitting the dirt behind him? Why are they shooting him? Both of his hands were up. He was freaked out. Get a trifold in your car. If you order a trifold right now during this live stream, I'm going to give you a Fifth Amendment cop card for free. You get two. You get the driver and the non-driver cop card. You get both. If you get a trifold right now during this live stream, I'm going to give you a driver and a non-driver cop card during this live stream. Get a trifold in your car. Get a trifold in your car. Don't don't make me make a video about you. Don't be in my video. You know what I'm saying? Don't end up where I'm covering your video. Someone sent me a video earlier and asked me to cover it. Um, Dude, I'm black and it's open season on me. That's not going to save me. You're right. You're right. You're right that you're black and you're right that it's open season on you and all of us, to be honest. But where you're wrong is it's not the trifold that's going to save you. This isn't going to save you. This is. This is going to save you. This is going to make make it so that you don't get murdered. You might get arrested. You might get treated bad. You might get cheated. But if you invoke your Fifth Amendment right and you use your camera properly, cop says he wants to search my car, open the page. I know on the very first page I can revoke consent. I go, sure, you can search my car, officer. As soon as he puts his little pig paws in there, I revoke consent. And so it's not going to save you. You can save yourself if you know your rights. You guys saw what happens when you try to call your lawyer. I think those guys over there who are doing that app, they might want to take a look at that video. The the, the cops aren't going to let you call anybody on the phone. I mean, I mean, I have yet to see, let, let, let me, let me see, let me see if I can, let me see if I can find a video here that will, 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 the store. will, We're gonna call the cop. will illustrate what I'm saying here. Remove these cameras off whoa, of whoa, my whoa, face. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to look up a video while we watch this video. Uh, can someone find a video? Can someone find a video for me? And, and this is a, I guess this is a group assignment here. Show me a video where the cops got on the phone with the lawyer. Show me that video. Show me a video where the cop talked to the person on the phone, where the person on the phone could be a shot caller at any level on the street level when they're on the phone. Show me a video. Can any, Does anybody have a video like that? Because a lot of people contact me and tell me about this app coming out. And listen, I'm all for it. I, I don't like those guys who produce the app. I don't, I think they're, I mean, I'll leave, I'll leave my commentary. I, don't, I just, I don't like them. And so that doesn't mean just because I dislike lackluster. I think he's a scumbag, but just because I know he's a scumbag doesn't mean that I don't hope that his app does well. I, I do. 
I hope that we get to a more humane society where you can say, hey, talk to my lawyer. And the lawyer can get on the phone with the cop and he can say, my client chooses not to answer any questions. Please issue the summons and leave him alone. I hope that works. I'm all for that. But I don't think there's anybody here that can can show me um, a video of a cop talking to a lawyer uh, on the on the phone. Um, uh, technically, Echo asked, "Why is lackluster scum?" Lackluster went on a troll channel and made a statement about me that I have victims that he's protecting. I'm, I'm the most investigated man on YouTube. It's just not true. He just made up lies, and he made up the lies because. I disagreed with him about a volunteerist government that we should have a rule of law government. And he went on a, a show and said that I was a, a scumbag grifter who had, he didn't call me a scumbag. He called me a grifter who had victims and he wasn't revealing the victims because he was protecting them. Where are they? I mean, if any, if anybody's a victim of me, please come forward. I'll give you a spot on the show. I'll send you a link to the stream yard. So when you make up things about another person because you're jealous of them, then I, I think you're a scumbag. And he also is a scumbag because he takes people's videos and then makes profit from them and doesn't give any share back. Matter of fact, I covered a video about a week ago about a guy who are stolen. And then right after I covered the video, lackluster for the first time that I've ever seen, did a fundraiser for the guy and raised the money to get his car back. I've seen him do, you know, group things with like Institute for Justice and stuff where he gets the clout, but I've never seen him do an individual fundraiser until I covered the guy's video and then said, I don't know if I can do a fundraiser to raise that amount of money. I have a smaller channel compared to the huge channels. And so I can't do it. And, but then after I did that, Lackluster did a fundraiser for the guy. Good job, Dale. Follower, beta male. So anyway. Anyway. Door. We're going to call the cops if you don't stop. What, do you want a normal conversation before everybody we gets We already upset? tried to. It apparently it didn't happen. No, so she came out. Please remove these cameras off oh, of my oh, face. Oh, 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 oh. Don't start getting in my face. Oh, that, that, that's getting... on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. That that I know that well. I know that area right there. I know that building. In my face. It's going to be a terrible we're, idea we're for you. filming us without our permission. It doesn't matter. So he's, this is, he's off Little Santa Monica Boulevard right here. And I think this is. It's either Rodeo or it's or it's Cannon Drive that he's on. You're on a public sidewalk. That's but the way we the world works. In the store, it doesn't matter. Your door is wide open. Do you understand how the law works? We will. You're not going to come near. If you come near. We're we're calling calling God, everybody is so good looking. Both of these people are aesthetically pleasing. The law works. We will. I mean, look look how put together these folks are. You're not going to come near if, if you come near me and we're try to approach and grab my camera. <laughs> She's an entitled little moron, though, isn't she? We're going to touch your camera. Do you see what you We're just did? respectfully asking you not to film us. You're respectfully, respectfully asking me to do something you have no control over. I'm on a public side. Right. But if we are You cannot the film store, me. Sure, I can. You cannot film Sure, I can. No, I absolutely can. I absolutely can. <laughs> <laughs> this is Amagansett Press. He's 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 funny. Go outside. Go in your store. That's You're the one confronting me, getting in my face. Is it six months? Just enjoy your day, man. Go back to selling your stuff. But what we're asking corporate's you to do not going to appreciate not... your behavior. I can assure you that. But we're not being inappropriate. You don't think she's being inappropriate? She's You've been appropriate. Not, she's so asking you, you not to film her. And I, I right, but he doesn't have to agree to that. If he can stand on the public sidewalk, he can film anything he sees from that sidewalk. If your door is open, he can film. If your door is open and then your bathroom door is open and you're taking a dump, he can film from the sidewalk you taking a dump. Responded that I'm not interested in entertaining that request. The thing is, is you're filming into the store. Correct. Which is you're Perfectly still legal. Us. Perfectly legal. The cops can't do anything about that. And why would you want to stop somebody taking pictures of your beautiful store? It's not and that. you beautiful people. Both of them are very attractive. Uh, it's just if someone doesn't feel comfortable being filmed, yeah. then they... Yeah, but that's the whole point. That's that's the entire point. That's the whole point. You don't feel comfortable. You should have the right to not be filmed. That's not the way it works. If I don't feel comfortable with you wearing a blue blazer, are you going to take it off for me? <laughs> you see how silly that is? It's, it's ridiculous. Different. No, it's really that's not different. different. Yeah, there's no no. What if What if blue no. triggers me? And gives me a, a very bad feeling inside. That's a fair question. 
have a good day. Yeah, you too. You too. All right, guys. Thank you. A very bad feeling inside. So now they're getting told that you can't limit someone's free speech, their their press ability, no matter how much you want to. You can't just randomly say that I'm going to limit your speech. It's just so ridiculously stupid. So I found this other video here and I want to show it. Let's, let's just finish this one. And I'll get to the next one. So the cops go in there and the cops have to tell them that he has a right to film from the, from the sidewalk. You wouldn't be able to film anywhere on Rodeo or Cannon if you couldn't film from the sidewalk. And look what a waste of resources this is. Why do you have to send out peace officers to this? Why can't you send out administrators with authority who could tell the store owner there's a guy filming with a camera. We're not going to waste our peace officers. We're going to send out an administrator who will then inform the store owner of the law. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. You too. All right, guys. Thank you. Good I appreciate you guys. Thank you for being courteous and professional. I don't appreciate them. He's a canine pig. And as you know, canine pigs are the most sadistic pigs there are in America. There's no more of a sadistic pig in the United States than a canine pig. Remember that. Have a wonderful day. Video into the store. We're gonna call the. Hey, sir. My name is Brian Hawkins. I'm with the police department. Okay. Apparently, you walked into our, our records area filming everything. Can I, can I ask what you're filming? What you're filming um, for? It's a public lobby. We're correct. Anyone could walk in there. Yeah. Okay. I walked in and took pictures. Perfectly legal. Name and badge number, please. You under. Can I have your name and badge number, please? Can I have your name? No, he can't. Can I have your name and badge number, please? You see my name right there. Did you said to the judge. If you go to court, you say, you say my name is here. Are you here to pick a fight, sir? I'm not pick a fight. Ask Are you here to pick a fight? Do you for your name and badge number? How is that picking a fight? For your name and badge number. That's all you need. You understand it's highly suspicious. That is it? Get into a yeah, absolutely. Okay. It's not every day that somebody walks into our lobby with, and starts filming. Why is it suspicious? Because it's not It's not normal. So what? Wearing a coat in the middle of freaking summer in Arizona is not normal either. It's also not suspicious. Give me a break. Actually, that would be suspicious well, in the summertime. Okay, yes, well, then maybe you guys need to tone down your suspicion level. Oh, so that means suspicion is what? Suspicion is my, my subjective point of view on what suspicion is. I can subjectively decide that that, 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 that that's suspicious. I, I can just decide that. And what's suspicious? Whatever they say is suspicious. It, it doesn't matter. Whatever they say. Everything that happens is not suspicious. Okay. And please, get a supervisor. I'm not saying another word. Thank you. Hey, guys, sir. My name is Brian Hawkins. I'm with the police department. Okay. Apparently, you walked into our, our records area filming everything. So Brian Hawkins is walking up to him and saying, you walked up to the records area and you were filming everything. That's not a crime. Can I guess what you're filming? What okay, right then and there. The, the moment that happens, I keep on losing that damn non-driver truck. The moment the cop walks up to you, you pull out your Fifth Amendment cop card. And the moment he comes up and you see the cop, you say, I invoke my First Amendment right. It's right there. I got these two for 10 bucks. You get two sets of them for 10 bucks. Cops cited, start filming and state, I invoke 1A. And then right there, the First Amendment right to film cops is upheld by the 2017 case of Turner versus Driver. I'm giving to you these two for one so that you get a pair for yourself and then you give a pair away. Originally, I thought I bought 1,000. I bought 5,000. So, so that's why we have the price so down low. The price is so low. Two sets of cop cards. Two sets for 10 bucks. So that way you can have one on you and you can give a pair to a friend. That's the whole point. Give a pair to a friend. <laughs> um, it's a public lobby. We're correct. Anyone could walk in there. Yeah. Okay. I walked in and took pictures. Perfectly legal. Name and badge number, please. You under. Can I have your name and badge number, please? Can I have your name? No, he can't. Can I have your name and badge number, please? You see my name right there. Did you say that to the judge? If you go to court, you say that to the judge, you say my name is here. Are you here to pick a fight, sir? I'm not here to pick. How is he picking a fight? 
by asking for his name and badge number and for the cop to simply give his name and badge number and not say right here. If I ask for your name and badge number, that's all I need. You understand it's highly suspicious. That is it? Into a police. Yeah. Why is it highly suspicious? I walk into cop shops all the time. Absolutely. Okay. It's not every day that somebody walks into our lobby with, and starts filming. Well, well, you might want to get used to it, Brian Hawkins. Suspicious. Because it's not, it's not normal. So Why is it not normal? It should be normal. What's not normal is the Stanford experiment we've created in America, that this jackboot thug pig believes that he has the right to grab you, put his hands on you, put you in torture cuffs, and call it detainment. What a pig. What? Wearing a coat in the middle of freaking summer in Arizona is not normal either. It's also not suspicious. Give me a break. Actually, that would be suspicious. Do we got any more that came in? Anything come in on the computer? Any new ones come in? May, may as well let's get it let's get everything shipped before 5 30. nice nice well in the summertime okay yes, well then yes. maybe you guys need to tone down your suspicion level everything that happens is not suspicious okay and please get a supervisor exactly but why do they say everything is suspicious because of the 1968 case of terry versus ohio my assistant is about to leave here in a few minutes if you guys want your cop cards mailed out today on friday order your cop cards right now He's checking the computer right now. I think he's about done. He's got all this stuff done for today. And he's going to be heading to the post office and mailing these off. I think we're mailing off 20 or 21 is what, is what he told me earlier today. So get your cop card right now because I'm going to send you two pair of cop cards for 10 bucks right now, right this second. We're seeing it. We're seeing it time and time and time again that these cops are out of control. So I'm not saying another word. Thank you. Hey, guys. over Devin clapping as shown in the video she's look at that video shows Oxford police officer allegedly striking a Miami student so referring to the person standing over Devin clapping as shown in the video That is weird. Why are you standing over someone? Devin is not doing anything wrong here. He's not resisting. He's not doing anything. Watch what this officer does. An officer is then seen punching Devin. This is Whoa. unnecessary. Use and where's the good cop? Where's the good cop? So number one, Devin is on the ground already. He's he's now watch what the other cop does. So this guy's doing his. Devin more. is not doing anything wrong. So this cop does does way too much. He's not resisting. He's so he's on the ground. They got him all hemmed up. The idea you have to lay on your belly is so stupid. That's not how humanity works. That's not how human beings' brains work. They don't just turn over and lay on their belly when they're being attacked by people. That is not how people behave when they're scared. He's not doing anything. Why now, and now he now he jumps on him, shoulders into him. This officer does. An officer is then seen punching Devin. There's one punch. This is There's two punches. Unnecessary. There's three punches. Very use of force. This is excessive force. Oxford police say the man, Devin, was resisting arrest. They also say they understand this video. Why did you pull the guy away? Let him stand there and watch. Video is disturbing and shocking to some, and they are committed to conducting a transparent investigation. Oh, he, the video oh did ends. you see that? He's throwing knees now. He couldn't get the damage he wanted. He's on top of this guy, but now watch him. A transparent and he stands up onto a tripod position and drops investigation. Look the video that. ends Look shortly after this. Where are the other cops saying, hey, stop it? There's a cop standing behind him, not stopping it. The man we now know is dead. Why isn't that cop stopping the other guy from attacking him like a savage? If he needs to be attacked, why isn't the third guy helping right there? Evan was issued a summons for assault, resisting arrest, criminal trespass, and underage intoxication. There's so ridiculous that we have underage charges for people who drink alcohol. It doesn't work. It's just stupid. Now an independent investigation after video surfaced of a police officer punching a Miami University student. We first told you about this video last week and police now say the student was resisting arrest. WCPO 9 News. And there's no third party to go after the cop. There's only the cops on the cop shop that he works with. Reporter Andrew Rowan spoke with the police chief and mayor about what comes next. The police chief here has requested two investigations, one into what happened here on the side of we're Rick launching two investigations that are going to go nowhere street bar and the other into police policies. We acknowledge that the videos are difficult to watch. The bar won't let us show you their security video. It shows Oxford police officer Matthew Blauvelt as he tries to arrest the student. There's a struggle. 
a use of force report says once the student ignored verbal commands, the officer used three upper body strikes and two knee that, strikes. That wasn't upper body. Listen, this this lion mainstream media commands. The officer used those are three head strikes, three upper body strikes. Those were not upper body. Upper body's chest, back, torso. This is head strikes. It ignored verbal commands. The officer used three upper body. Wow. He, why is the reporter lying when he shows the video of him lying? That's not upper body. Those are head strikes. There's a difference between upper body and head strikes. He strikes and two knee strikes. The police chief's review. He the, did at least three knee strikes that we covered. Kate's use of force was justified with no additional comments. Part of the investigation will seek to determine why video evidence was who indicates use of force was student. There's a struggle. Why is why is a use of force report says once the student ignored verbal commands. Who is who is this guy on the ground with the hat? The officer. You see him? He's grabbing the guy and holding him as he's being struck. Or used three. Why is that guy with the hat on holding that guy down? The upper body strikes and two knees knee strikes. Oh, he's got a radio on his butt. The police chief's review indicates use of force was justified with no additional comments part of the investigation will seek to determine why video evidence was not examined there it is he jumps up the guy's on the ground he's got him held down to the point where the other guy the other copper behind them got his hand on his head scratching his head as this other man is beating and torturing the guy on the ground and during the initial administrative review two knees of the use of so there's two knees there and there was a couple earlier so there's four that we saw on camera force by myself the chief told us while body camera video was reviewed that security angle was not even though police had it in their possession what's your message to people who are suspicious saying why wasn't video looked at the first time i would say wait and let's see why if that's true why that didn't happen a 2021 best practices document from the ohio attorney general's office says an investigator is responsible for reviewing the videos Video review is not part of the Oxford Police Department's use of force policy. What? Video review is not part of the use of force policy? Then how do you know if the cop's lying? They create policies because there's no governor to come in and say, uh-uh, here's your policy. Regardless of the outcome of these independent investigations. No, no, it's not regardless of the outcome, pig. And this guy even looks like a pig. He looks like a pig. He would be Porky Pig brought to life. Look at him. Guy can't control what goes on his fork any day. The Oxford Division Police remains committed to improving our policies and our procedures moving forward. Officer Blauvelt is... Let me, let me tell you guys something real quick. Let, let, me, let me tell you guys something. Every day or every other day, I have cookies. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I was on the verge of a sneeze the whole time. Every day I have cookies. It's a fact. I have cookies almost daily. The rest of the day, I don't have any calories. How come? Because I have to control my fork am. I have to control my fork hand. I have to control how much is going into my mouth. If you can't control how much is going into your mouth, you shouldn't be given a gun and be put in charge of other people. If you can't control how much you're consuming into your mouth, then you shouldn't be in charge of other people. You can't control what you eat. You can't control this decision. Why should you be in charge of making decisions for other people's lives? And it's hard. I'm not saying it's not hard. And I come from an overweight family. My family, half my family is morbidly obese. How come I'm not fat? Because I have the discipline to say, I want to eat that. I'm going to put my fork down. And this guy is Porky Pig. And, and, this, and this guy's in charge of people saying how we really want to get our policies correct. You can't even get your fork arm correct, bro. You can't even slow down that fork arm for a month. You're soft. We're improving our policies and our procedures moving forward. Officer Blauvelt is on paid leave pending the investigation. Oh, he's on paid leave? He did three head strikes and four knees while the guy was being held down by three or four other guys, and he's on paid leave? That's a far cry from the woman who was shot. <laughs> she, she's got a, she got put on leave with no pay. <laughs> what a joke. 20-year-old Devin Johnson was charged with assault, resisting arrest, criminal trespassing, and underage possession of alcohol. I'm sure they could tack on more charges if they tried. His lawyer said he will fight all charges.
We're taking our time. We're doing it in an independent investigation. So nobody has to worry that we're investigating ourselves. <laughs> oh God, you're kidding me. We're taking our time. We're, we're taking our time. We're doing it in an independent investigation. Oh, you're doing an independent investigation. So this is the city of Oxford manager. So let me guess, put a one in the chat. If they're going to do the pig shack from the town over, that's doing the investigation. What do pigs always do? They go from pig shack to pig shack. This pig at this pig shack, he gets run out of the trough. And so now the pig goes over to another pig trough and he applies at that pig shack. And then he's a pig over there. They're don't worry. They're doing an independent investigation. We're not investigating ourselves. The pigs at that pig trough over there are coming over from that pig shack to investigate this pig shack. Half of the pigs who used to work at this pig shack now work at that pig shack. Most of the pigs that th from this pig shack know most of the pigs from that pig shack. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I saying things that are untrue? Pigs are the most invasive species there is. And once you get a pig trough full of pigs, those pigs will eat that pig trough until they add a food. Then they'll wander over to another pig trough. And so you have a pig trough and a pig trough, and they're going to take the pigs from this trough and investigate these pigs over here. Um, I must know something. I'm Nathan. I'm, I'm Nathan. Nathan Shaw said, I know nothing. Hmm. Hmm. I would, I would, I mean, what do you guys think? You think I know a couple things? I mean, I think I know a couple things. You know, I, I, I got an ego the size of Manhattan, so I'm not super humble over here. I'm just not. I, I believe in myself and I believe that I'm a leader and I believe that I have a lot of knowledge and charisma and that I have a ton of energy and I believe that I can change this world. I believe that I can run for governor and I can win. If I know nothing, then I, I don't think I would be able to do that, you know? I don't think I'd be able to do that. So, oh, Deanna's here. What's going on, Deanna? How are you? You know, I think I can change the world. So I would have to know a couple things. I'd have to have some ideas. I get it, though. You know, when the truth gets in there, it hurts. It hurts. And you just want to say something when the truth gets in there. Like, oh, it didn't hurt me. You sure, bro? You sure? I mean, it's, it, it, see, it seems like I'm under your skin a little bit, Nathan. It seems like you're, you're a little bit annoyed. So nobody has to worry that we're in time. We're doing it in an independent investigation from a pig shack across the town to a different pig shack investigating. I mean, Oxford mayor will have Doxford mayor. So nobody has to worry that we're investigating ourselves. Oh, put a one in the chat. If you're worried about it either way, put a one in the chat. If you're worried that, I mean, so far you heard the media say three body strikes when it was three head strikes. We just want to get it right. Video footage now bringing police policies into focus. Oh, so they didn't get caught. Oh, my God. I just got an epiphany here. So they didn't get caught from the body cam footage. The reason we're even hearing about this is because of that camera right there that caught everything from. We just want to get it right. Video footage. That, that camera right there is what cooked the pigs. That camera right there. Oh, would you vote for me? Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I've never voted, but I actually will vote for you. Right on, man. I'm not sure if I'm going to run in California, Nevada, New Mexico, Alaska, New Hampshire, Maine, Rhode Island, Delaware, Hawaii. I'm looking at a few states, and I'm going to make the decision this year where I'm going to pluck my residency down so I can start to acquire the time necessary. And I'm going to run for governor and I'm going to win and I'm going to change the policies from the top down. So, you know, a simple policy is that there's a third party organization that investigates police. As the executive of a state, I can create an agency that investigates police misconduct. And I may have to fight the legislators to do it, but I'll fight them and I'll win. Because I'll win as a populist president, because this is the tip of the iceberg. We haven't seen it. So from my perspective here. Trump is going to be elected president. Sadly, he's a piece of shit. 
Trump is going to be elected president. He's going to ruin our country. He's going to destroy it. He's going to create a total police state, even 10 times worse than we have now. And then people are going to look for a leader who's going to say, how do we change this horrible police state? Because Trump's going to bring the military out for the illegal immigrants, and he's going to indemnify police so we can't sue them. He's going to do everything he can to strip our Fourth Amendment right, our First Amendment right, our Fifth Amendment right, our Eighth Amendment right. And then Trump is going to help me win the governorship of a state because the people are going to be so sick and tired of the police state, prison state, death state that Trump is going to increase tenfold. I would vote for a red solo cup over Trump. I would vote for Biden over Trump, even though I'm not going to vote for Biden. I'm going to vote for, for Kennedy. He's a total piece of shit. Like he want, he's a total cop sucker. I'm sorry if you guys like Trump. Yeah. I, a few people have put in the, in this comment section, Trump 2024 during this live stream. You could say whatever you want. We don't agree. Trump's a, a cop sucking piece of shit. And every day I hope he, he can't run for president. I, I hope he does not win. I really, really do. I really hate him. Uh, I, I, I hate him almost as much. I, I'm not sure who I hate more Biden or Trump. Cause Biden is the reason why we have the 1994 crime bill. The 1994 crime bill is an extension, an addition to the 1968 omnibus crime bill. The omnibus crime bill contained the 1968 gun control act. The 1968 gun control act is the reason today why you have a gun enhancement charge. And there's people in prison for a decade extra for a gun enhancement charge, which was put into place by who in 1968? Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon. Lyndon Johnson signed it into effect. Nixon then put the teeth into it. Through, through amending and legislating even further into the Omnibus Crime Bill. It was extended even further in the 1970 Controlled Substance Act, which was written primarily by Nixon's attorney general. So when people say we're living in Joe Biden's America or Trump's America, no, no, we're living in Richard Nixon's America and Lyndon Johnson's America. That's the America we're living in. And when Trump is elected, if he gets elected, he's going to make this a total police state. The cops will be, remember, put him in the car and don't be nice about it. And then we got George Floyd. He went to put him in the car and George didn't want to get in the car. So he wasn't nice about it, dropped his knees on his neck. And then we had looting and riots and billions of dollars of damage and a bigger divide between pigs and people. So I, I, I think it's horrible. I think it's, I think I, I, I can't support someone who says they want to indemnify police. I, and and I and I keep on every day, you know, researching and seeing what else this this pig sucker is saying. I just can't vote for him. And I agreed with some things that he did, but I just can't vote for Trump or support Trump. He's a piece of shit cop sucker. So <laughs> at least I'm not lying to you. There's people who get up in front of people and they want to be liked so badly. I want to be liked so badly that I'll sit here and say, oh, you know, Trump's OK. No, he's not. He's the worst choice of all choices. The lesser of two evils would be Robert Kennedy Jr. Robert Kennedy Jr. is who I'm going to vote for. So, you know, and you're welcome to support Trump. I'm not going to, I'm not going to judge you. I, I think you're making a mistake. Uh, if it was you deciding that Trump's the president, then I'd have a problem with you. <laughs> but we're not going to agree on everything. So don't let them divide us. This team DLZ, we want to change the system. We want cameras in the courtroom. We want a third party organization to investigate cops. We want a third party to get the body cam footage, the dash cam footage. We want to get rid of all of petty infraction pullovers. I want to change the entire system from top to bottom. And I can only do that by being the governor of a state. And so I'm looking at Hawaii right now. I was researching Hawaii last night. Hawaii. Um, I just don't know if I can win the demographic there being a uh, Colombian round eye round eye white man. I don't know if I can win the election in Hawaii because th they may use a race thing. I mean, it's uh, Hawaiians, just so you know, are, 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 you know, have a bit of racial pride quite a bit. And my family moved to Hawaii in, I guess it would have been 1980, 1985 or 1986. My grandmother moved, was it 85 or 86? No, it must've been 
before that. must have been like 81 or 82. No, no, I was too young then. Anyway, somewhere in there, 1985, 1986, something like that. Um, so what happened is when they moved to Hawaii, my family is on my Irish German side looks like that. They, re, they experienced a lot of racism. And so I don't know if I could, if I could run, if I could win the, the governorship there. I think I could win in Nevada. I think I could win in New Hampshire. I think I could win in New Mexico. I, I don't, I, California has got so many tens of millions of people. I don't know if I could win there. It's just so big. You have to win over so many people. Whereas Nevada has 3.1 million people. There's only two voting demographics. It's uh, Vegas and Reno. There's three, th there's two voting physical geographical locations in Nevada. It's Vegas and Reno. So you have to campaign in two locations, Reno, Vegas, there's North Vegas and there's Henderson. So that's how they break up the four actual voting demographics in Nevada. But there's two geographical locations. So um, Arizona is pretty hardcore. Um, I don't know if I'm conservative enough for, for Arizona. Um, Arizona is 50-50 too. I mean, Arizona is 50%. Liberal, fifty percent conservative. Arizona, they may be, they may have the loudest MAGA people in Arizona, but they are fifty fifty as far as their voting. They have a Republican governor right now. So does Nevada, and um, Maine. Uh, James took a look at Maine. Arizona is changing. That's true. Arizona is slowly but surely changing. Jackboot thug pig. So. I know it. I know. It. And th there's a huge pig problem. Remember, the governor of the state of Nevada currently is an ex-pig and crime has never been worse. The corruption's never been worse. So until we get to a place where we can change things as the governor, nothing's going to change. Yeah. Um, I'm fr I'm um, so um, one of my favorite people. Shabendu, Sh Shabendu, I'm from Alaska. I was raised in Alaska. I was raised on the Kenai Peninsula in a town called Soldatna in Alaska for 13, almost 14 years. From the time I was five years old until I was 18 years old, I lived in Soldatna, Alaska. So I, that's why I consider going back there. I just don't know if I can take the cold. I just don't know if I can take the cold. I mean, Arizona is a funny place, though. The 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 people there are they're you know, I don't know if I can win. I, I'm just, I'm just talking about places I could actually win the governorship. And until we get to executive power, I don't think anything's going to change. I don't think anything. And, you know, and just so you know, when, when we take a look at this video right here, when you, when you, you get into this, clearly we can see. Now bringing police policies into focus in Oxford, Andrew Rowan, WCPO nine news. So they got their knees all over him. They're putting their weight on him. This guy sticks his knee on the back of the guy's head. <laughs> Jack boot thug pigs. But then it just, just, just so I want video into the we just got back from Cuba and what we saw, I wanted to show you guys uh, some of the comments from the comment section, but I should get the flock out of here. I've been on for almost three hours and I got to do a couple more things still. I got to do a couple more things today, but, um, until, until there's an executive in charge of a state who will change the policies from the top down, we're going to live in a dystopian police state, prison state, death state. And you, you guys need, you guys need to check your Karens and Kevins in your family. That's the assignment I have for all of you. Go to your family members who are Karens and Kevins and show them the cop videos. I, I sell these cop cards two for one, buy one, get one free. So, and when you buy one of these, I'm going to give you another one for free. So sometimes people order like three or four cards. I still give you one for free unless you're like, Hey, give me, you know, a lot, but I mean, we're, we're pretty much doubling up all cards right now. Yeah. So I'm, we're pretty much if you, any card you order, you get another one for free. So I'm doing that so that you will give the cards away to other people. So that the the message of how to talk, to talk to cops starts to spread throughout the community. That's the point. All right, listen, I got to get the fuck out of here. Chevy, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Mr. Bones Nation, thank you. Alan, Victor, Roger, what is going on? Dan Hanlon, did you get your, uh, Dan Hanlon, I sent you a bunch of stuff in the mail. I hope you got it. Thanks for ordering something. I appreciate it. Chevy, 
Chevy! Alan Grady. I saw uh, Alan Hubs in here as well. Good to see you, Alan. Derek, always good to see you. Victor, so good to see you. Stanley, John, how you doing? Andrew, what is going on? James, how are you, my friend? The Stomper is in here. Melania, how are you, Melania? I think I got an email from you, didn't I? Um, Kennedy, what is going on? How are you? Yeah, Clark County is is no accountability. All right, I got to get the flock out of here. Um, thank you for coming. I super appreciate it. I super appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, Gators.